The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Discretion is advised. Good evening. It's me again. Dan the man. Coming in your ears. Um, so <laughs> we had a plan. We had a plan tonight. We were supposed to have uh, Lisa Rafael Dunn, Rafael Dunn in with us with her beautiful husband, Johnny. And there was a family emergency. And everyone's no. dead. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. But, uh, but Johnny's here with us instead. But I made it. Fill in the role. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, Johnny Dunn. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, Lisa couldn't make it tonight, but she'll be back uh, next week. Nice. Um, we hope. Um, she'll be missed. God rest her soul. <laughs> and uh, cheers to you, buddy. God forbid, out of the earth. Cheers. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? Great. Thanks for coming in. Um, cheers, Darren. You, you've not met Darren before, right? I, you know, I... I we don't know. I, yeah, we don't know. It's a, I, I, oh. I sort of... Uh, what does it, Darren, say it? Uh, he's low, no? I don't know. Oh, his volume? Yeah. How's hey, that shit? How's that? Better? Um... We'll talk yeah. a little bit. So, uh, I, you know, we that's not as, that's not as loud as I know. This is about how I normally talk. Okay. Uh, we yeah, we went into a studio a long time ago and did uh, Dark Matter, mm-hmm. and there were people there, but I don't know who all. Uh, it was either had. Darren or Frank. Actually, it could have been a few guys. There was, there was few, also I remember some people. What the fuck's the Stoner guy's name? Uh, Stoner Kurt. Was Kurt the one that had the episode with us where he like, or the one that stormed out? Doesn't mm, seem like a stoner if he stormed I, out. I didn't know. I didn't know anyone stormed out on. Him. Someone like like bailed on our show once, who was supposed to be an engineer, mm-hmm. and just like didn't show up. Oh, and it was oh, because yeah, they were yeah, angry. Yeah. <laughs> it was him. Yeah, he was an odd duck. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, did you guys get along before? Yeah, that? yeah. And you pushed record, and he was like, "I'm out." No, he like <laughs> we were about to record, and like no one was there. There was no one to be found. Mm-hmm. So that actually might be how we got you the first time, right? Yeah. Did we cover this before? Well. Well, what happened with me was, um, I think Kurt was sick. Sick in the head, maybe. (laughs) Possibly. Kurt, sounds like Um, it. I think he was sick and um, called out, and um, then I was contacted to take over for the show. It was the best thing that ever happened to the show. Is that uh, studio still there, Dash? Yeah, he's still he's yeah. still an employee of Dash. Copy. I am. Yes. They're busy. They're they twenty four seven. They do like midnight podcasts and streams. Um, well, it's changed podcasts. since COVID. Radio, not yeah. podcasts. And they moved. They bought like right before COVID hit. Dash bought this huge, beautiful building right on Hollywood Boulevard mm-hmm. with like, you know, windows on the sidewalk, like TRL style. Yeah. And then is that, like, is that the one I went to? No. Okay. Wow. Upgrade. That was like up on uh, up on Coenga there, and it was a little mm-hmm. bit like it was a smaller building north of Coenga, yeah. And then COVID's like <laughs> all your hopes and dreams, mm-hmm. not today, Dash. Oh man, which happens too. I mean, that's that's yeah. the industry. It is. You work in the uh, you work in the film industry. Yes, you've been with uh, the company Annapurna from day one, mm-hmm. from inception, right? That's right. And what you hired to do? Um, that that's that's still debatable. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's you know, ten, it's been ten years and uh. <clears throat> when it when it was a, a a concept of a company, it wasn't really there weren't like t- job titles. It was just a very like what can you do? Can you help? It was in sort all of these like things? yeah. It was sort of like a nascent uh, idea to hey, let's try to you know make and produce stuff that's cool that's been that's been sort of like you know jettisoned out. Uh, from other studios because you know Spider Man is better, uh, so like middle, middle of the sort of road budget wise and adult dramas that have been a little bit abandoned by other <coughs> production companies and and it, and it was a perfect opportunity because like a lot of those filmmakers were like we need a place that's that's good and you know in a way it's kind of I've always thought Annapurna was like a. Miramax, in a way, as far as yeah. um, uh, st- very story-driven, character-driven films, like yeah. stru- like a lot of focus on writing, uh, great yeah. directors. Yeah, you don't need original big stories. Explosions. There's, yeah, there's, there's not a there's not a ton of original st- stories. Everything's sort of based on something that's been successful. Mm-hmm. So that's a huge problem in the industry is that you get more and more uh, 
money as an executive, right? Mm -hmm. Then it becomes harder and harder to take a chance on something that isn't already proven. So you option a book or you option a, uh, a video game or a comic book or a pre-written thing. And that then you can say, well, it already had success, so we ex expected it to work. Someone's dying. It's the dog over yeah. there. <laughs> There's a dog in the background uh, on his last, literally his last legs. He if, might be what if, Has a dog ever died live on a podcast? We've had three. <laughs> it's three dogs have died on this podcast. Um, there was a German Shepherd. Uh, there was a Cocker Spaniel and yeah. then Nate Dog. Maybe you're Nate just, Dog died. <laughs> maybe you're just killing <laughs> dogs. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I mean, yeah. this is like, if listen, listeners, if you guys are fans of dead dogs, this is the podcast for you. Mm -hmm. And you can go um, subscribe to our YouTube page and you can literally watch dogs die. Like we have a stream. We have a, we have a, a live stream going of a, of a puppy YouTube. grinding plant. <laughs> YouTube.com forward slash watch dogs die. Yeah. It's a slash rare from radio mm -hmm. and uh, go to YouTube, sign up for our YouTube and uh, subscribe. Watch dogs oh. die. Watch us talk shit. How oh, are we doing? That one's alive. Unfortunately. Oh fuck. Well, we'll do better. We promise to do yeah. better in the dog killing department. Yeah. Um, and apparently you guys, I mean, you guys have won Oscars. There's been a lot of recognition. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, so a orig your original question was like, what, you know, what were you hired to do? And that was, uh, it wasn't like, like, an I there was no idea. There was just an ideal. And it was like, let's figure out a way to, to make cool shit in a way that isn't like uh, riddled with bad habits, which is you know, what's been happening at big studios for decades and some of those habits are great but mm -hmm. some of them are terrible so i think the uh, ideal was let's let's hire people that don't have a shitload of bad habits and baggage from other studios so like you know i just happened to be sort of in the periphery at that moment and um having <clears throat> having completely uh sort of handled the diy aspect of making things for uh for the band that i was in my wife my lovely wife lisa who's not here unfortunately God rest her soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that band being Kalola. That's right. Who, by the way, uh, we've talked Dan about. I was the first bass player for. That's right. And had I not quit, you would not have this beautiful wife and this lovely daughter. Oh man! And two dogs of your own that will Thank die eventually God on this you podcast. Quit stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank God I don't have the heart to follow through <laughs> on anything. You know. <laughs> no, I think you probably had a different. Except like, for this. Yeah. There you go. So far, it's, right. it seemed. I mean, I, I got to give it to you. You. Uh, um, thank you. You. Try and make um, the show better every week. Well, thank you, buddy. Make a concerted effort. I do. I do. I do care. I do care. You know what? I'm going to pay you, you back do. for creating my life. Thank you, Derek. I helped you uh, get your Patreon. Yes, goal. you did. So, Dude. Yeah. Johnny is the person. We, Lo and logo. Yeah, the yeah. logo. You yeah. did the logo. Um, Johnny is the person who hit me up once, like a few months back, six, seven months ago. I was like, why don't you guys have a Patreon? Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I just... Like Todd didn't like the idea of like, like uh, he, he, people see it as like pandering sometimes, you know, like, um, that's the old, that's the moated, uh, right. life, uh, like l outlook on it. It's, right. it's so different now. Everybody's right. like, I want to pay people for the stuff. I And that's the thing. That's how you pitched to me. Yeah. You said, you know, people that people that care about your show, mm -hmm. they want to help it. That's right. And it made sense to me when you said it. Cause like I buy records from bands. I like, I go to concerts, um, and, uh, and it makes you feel um, like you're a part of it, right? Exactly right. So, so when I listen to you know 200 podcasts of a thing, I feel like I'm in the circle of that. Uh, you're part of the lifeblood of it. But as soon as they offered the chance to start buying, as soon as as yeah. soon as the podcast starts offering a chance to buy in, as mm -hmm. far as being like actually support, you jump on it because you're like, oh, I've been with this podcast for three, four, five years. Of course, I'm going to give you ten bucks a month, yeah, or whatever, because you, you've given me hundreds of hours. Yes. And so, um, when Patreon sort of like really started to become normalized, um, I think that the idea that that it's whatever pandering is is way off, and and you you really, I I looked at my Patreon, and I think it was like I was paying like somewhere between like twenty and thirty dollars a month just to various people, even like people who I follow on Twitter who are just like, hey, for a dollar a month, you can follow my private account which i post hilarious shit and right. i'm like a dollar a month why 
Of course, who I'll do can that. not spare yeah. a dollar? Yeah. Well, some and people, then, but and like then the person has like six thousand followers now, and it's right, like, right. Wow, what a cool way for this person who I think was bedridden or something, like like someone who was who was sick but hilarious. Uh, I was like, man, here, take five or three or something, and uh, you know, those different perks. So I looked at all the things, and I'm like, Dan, you have such a good thing going. Uh, you've got this like long tail of success with rare f- uh, with a uh, dark matter. And sort of all these people who followed you along the way. So, like, now is the time to really make it feel like a family. Yeah. And that means, you know, asking for money and begging. <coughs> it, it, it's kidding. true. Yeah. And then you also point out, like, well, you are you are providing entertainment. Yeah. And it's like, for some reason, podcasts are seen as, like, that's entertainment, but you shouldn't get paid for it. You shouldn't yeah, get... So weird. Whatever. Anyways, but it was very nice. Thank you for it. And then when, you know, I launched it, I thought, well, if I'm asking people to sub to mine, I should sub to others or check out what's out there. Yeah. So now I, I subscribe to three or four uh-huh. and I love it's cool. supporting if, And that. then you get the feed, the private sort of feed. That's where the thing. Like, like when you see like behind the scenes videos and like little yeah. extra episodes and shit like that. So now I'm going to get you on this discord next. So, <laughs> well, funny enough, uh, Darren's working on that currently. Yeah, good. good, Trying good. To, yeah. I don't, can you, Explain to me what the fuck Discord even is. I'll probably is. like butcher it, but I can explain to you what I understand about it. Yes, please. So a Discord is a, uh, and I have a, I have a buddy who works at Discord. So if, if, he, oh, if, he, if he ever hears this, he'll probably say I, I botched it horribly. <laughs> it is a um, hardcore porn app. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's a no, no. It, say that people <laughs> might actually go then if that's the case. No, it's a, it's a web. <clears> it's <throat> a, it's it, you can get it through a website. Or, where they'll prompt you to download um, a, an app. And the app is on your phone or your computer or your iPad, or whatever. But it's essentially like a standalone, uh, um, almost like a digital cable box. So you can subscribe to 500, I don't even know if there's a, minimum, a maximum, but uh, um, servers, right? And so uh, Rareform could have a server on Discord in which someone would like, have an existing login. Roy Stevens is the name of my user <laughs> name. And I log in. Smooth. And uh, Roy T. Stevens, uh, 31, because there's so many of them. Uh, no, I, I log in, and it's like, welcome to Discord. Pick a channel. Do you have anything? Like, it's almost like, you know, what, what do you channel, want? What channel do you want to be on? What's your pleasure, sir? So you subscribe to Rareform Radio, and Rareform Radio would have a bunch of sub uh, channels inside of it. Like, it could have, like, a chat that's constantly going with all the people that are just like, maybe you're not online at the time, or maybe the podcast is already out and people they've listened to it, but they're talking about stuff. There's another, there's another channel in there for videos yeah. that are things that you posted. There's another thing. So you could be like, hit the videos uh, channel in their discord and we'll talk about this, you know, dog dying on the couch during the <laughs> last podcast or whatever. So like there's a, there's a chat, it, infinite channels that right, you can have right. inside of each subscription on your discord. But um, it offers the ability to like, live stream Mm -hmm. uh, media. So like I know people who I subscribe to on Patreon who are like, Hey everybody, if you're in the Patreon on this specific tier, right. And the tiers Patreon can link into discord and and allow access to certain channels. So like if you're not in the $10 tier, you're not going to be able to get into this channel. It's like subs only. Right. Right. So um, I know of a Patreon that I'm in. That's like they go live every now and then and they'll make music. They're just playing with synths. Like in yeah. Moog sense, and they're just like sh- like the cameras right on all the modular like n- nodes, and the, they're doing all that stuff. And then sometimes I've got same uh, Patreon. Uh, it's it's a uh, operators um, a band, and they will often stream movies. So they'll just put a movie on, like an old '60s and you know, Czechoslovakian you know, noir movie, and they talk about it while it's playing. And you just feel like you're sort of hanging with. The creators. Oh, that's what I've been doing on the uh, for uh, for some of the extra monthly shows mm-hmm. on Patreon. I'll do the um, like a movie wa- movie watch along. Yeah, how do you, did, how, do you uh, how do you do it? What do you? I do it. I play it on a uh, big screen on a Mac. Mm-hmm. And just screen record it and then just record audio with a separate camera and then I have to go like edit it all together yeah. afterwards. You post, and you post it on uh, on, uh, on on Patreon. Patreon, nice. Yep. So they have like a server like Patreon can LA upload. No, okay. it's a dumb thing, and I know. You people that are listening and watching who are patrons, you guys know the issue. Like, it, it's uh, it's kind of an ordeal. Like to uh, to post video to Patreon, 
you have to upload to Vimeo Copy. or YouTube, and then they can only share the URL. Okay. The URL. <laughs> she, he called it an URL. Is that what old people do? I have no idea. <laughs> URL? I mean, I'm fucking 100 years old. I've never I do. Heard I, call I like it URL. URL. It's quicker, dude. I don't, a, I don't have, I don't have time. Are you a GIF guy? No. Okay. I'm, I'm GIF. I'm GIF. Okay. GIF. GIF people are assholes. Uh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. The people who invented it call it GIF, and I, t- I tell them they're just so wrong about the thing they made. Well, the problem is... The G stands for generated, right? No, graphics. Oh, what the fuck? Right? It's a GIF. That's right. It's a GIF. It's graphics interchange format, and you cannot change the G just because you like Traffic? Pe- peanut butter or whatever. Traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's, that's a J. Yeah. Unless you're, I have to spell it with a G because it's like punk. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's like Genghis it's Khan. Cool, right? It's not, a, you know, or Genghis, whatever or something. Genghis Khan. Genghis. <laughs> Yeah, Genghis Khan was G- the inventor of Genghis G- Christ. Uh, before we go any further, Darren, do you say GIF or GIF? GIF. Are you saying that only because we're railing on GIF people? I don't care what you do. It's a do you, GIF to me. Do you say Giffy peanut butter or GIF peanut butter? And that's a no. J. I'm just trying to. Tra- uh, I'm trying to trick them. You're trying to trick. Yeah, I'm trying to trick them. them. All right, I don't eat peanut Darren, butter. you pass. You don't? No. Is it a racial thing? No. Okay. I know sometimes. I know sometimes there's like a you know there's there's a race foods. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like what we eat and what you eat? I don't, I don't see color per se, but yes. You want, yes. Me, t- you want me to tell you what you eat and we don't? Oh, I would love to. Uh, can, let me see. Can we guess? What? I probably, like, what what's I the probably, food, what's I the food that white people can like? We, can we guess? Than anyone in this <laughs> room. <laughs> um, because I've grown up equally. Interesting. That's true. So I, 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 I know what kale? I know, kale? I know what rich white people eat. I know what poor white people eat. I'm in the middle. But everyone knows all I eat is fucking ice cream and Monster Energy. Yeah, that's true. This show is brought to you by Monster Energy Rehab Drink <laughs> and the Boston Red Sox. So what's a white person food? Rice pilaf. <laughs> Rice pilaf. That's so unbelievably specific. <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, wait, wait. Do I, what is pilaf? Do I not? I it's, feel like like a, it's like a brown rice. It's like a fluffy brown is it, rice. Is pilaf, yeah, it's, is, it's, it's is, some white people. But shit. is pilaf the method of preparation? Or is I it, think, yeah, the way it's like. Interesting. So I don't, I'm not a. P-I-L-A-F. I know, but I, I don't. Maybe oh, yeah. I've had it, but I don't. And I definitely know what white people from Virginia eat. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, because Johnny is from Virginia, and so is Darren. Oh, Darren kinda. spent some time in Virginia. Yeah. 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 Mom's from Virginia. Yeah. What's that? Um. Well, Well. It, southern Southern white people are very close to black people, but there's, there's a few differences. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, including prison sentences are different. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> short, short, um, short for white folks. Sorry, it, it's, it's, it's very close. It's very close. I, sorry, I'm listening to it for the food. It's cool. very close, but what, what, um, what, uh, what black people always say uh, about, what, like, for instance, like Thanksgiving, like, like what you guys do to ruin it for us is like the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, he nodded, dude, at, he nodded do, at me. I'm offended. He, he nodded <laughs> at me because you guys. What, what y'all do? We are white as fuck. Johnny and I are very, very white. <laughs> I'm looking up right here. <laughs> is someone like else the, behind me? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, what is it? The like raisins and raisins and pota- potato salad. No, I will tell you. Oh, thank you. First no, of all, thank you. I hate potato salad. I hate it. But when people put, okay. when it's people not, put raisins in it, that yeah, is some whack ass shit. Yeah, it's like, come on, are you serious? Grow the fuck up. Don't put fruit snacks in your uh, in your in your vegetables. No, I, I've never. Uh, I don't think I've ever had raisins and potato salad. Good and, for and you. Potato salad. I like it yellow. What, oh, what more, makes it yellow? More, more mustard. Yeah, Must, more mustard. That's right. Ew. Yeah. There's mustard in potato salad. Yeah, I prefer that. Definitely. Yeah, mustard is no bueno. At all. Which, I is, think which mu- is Spanish for no good. I actually would like to say that mustard may be one of the greatest condiments. I, are, I, you I, okay. your, are you out of your You're fucking mind? You're definitely silly. I love mustard. <laughs> you probably like relish too. It's mustard is 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 a uh, it's tangy. It's like has the ability to be spicy. It and if you're look watching like your calories, it's pretty low calorie. It's also like good on. By the way, no one's eating mustard because it's because they're health. Nuts. I know, but I'm telling you, it's just a bonus. <laughs> it's just built in. I'm on a diet, pure mustard. No, if but if you like uh like you can mix mustard with like uh, ketchup, and that's like a really great uh, tangy but sweet. It's so good. <sighs> I have you a guys, tough time. Yeah, Does anyone market mustard and ketchup in the same bottle? I don't know, but I, I would, I would probably try it. Are like you that. a mayo guy? Mm, not really. I, I mean, I, I um, I don't eat, uh, I don't eat beef, pork, or chicken. So my, uh, my, 
most of my meat or whatever protein is probably seafood? T- is seafood, yeah. So with tuna, I do like just a little bit of mayo to sort of give it some substance. Otherwise, it's just flaky paper yeah. you're eating. But um, occasionally I like a straight up dry can of tuna. Okay, but I had tuna today for with dinner. With oil or water? W- water. Okay. What? What? Got to go oil, dude. Is it? This might be a racial thing. Really? Maybe. No, Maybe. I don't think this is racial. Oil. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Plenty I've of white people seen... do tuna with oil. They might be. Maybe they're a little bit like mentally ill <laughs> nah. or sick. Have some issues. I think. I think that's the poor. Wait, I think do, that's poor white people <laughs> with the water. Do you like? You got to drain the, it. Pop the can and drain the with oil the oil. Bit, yeah. I. I drain a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's a bit much. But. If you have it with the oil, this might be a real. This is like this might be the most boring podcast ever. But no, I think I think people. Probably are not having enough tuna conversations. <laughs> is this the tuna episode? <laughs> is this the tuna podcast? We're going to call it the tuna Sorry, episode. Sorry, rare form people. Make a note. Make Disco- a note. Okay, hey, subscribe to Tuna Cast on Discord. <laughs> 40 bucks a month. Flat. Dude, tuna form <laughs> no, radio. No tears. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> tuna, the tuna tier. Um, when you have oil in your tuna, doesn't the oil keep the mayonnaise from getting in? He didn't oh, say I don't he use mayonnaise. mayonnaise. I was going to say no he didn't mayonnaise. say that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You're, we had t- he will yeah. not eat anything. No white sauce. White. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tartar, nothing. No. No tartar. No mayonnaise. No Alfredo. No Alfredo. No. No Alfredo. No ranch. No. I hate ranch. Buffalo sauce or not? Nah, no. Uh, uh, that's blue, blue cheese. Blue, blue cheese. cheese. No nope. cottage cheese. I like blue nope. cheese. I don't like any of that shit. No. Nope. Fuck blue cheese. Yeah. No. Nope. Fuck blue cheese. <laughs> no. 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 None of it. I love blue Horse cheese. Horse radish. <laughs> no. Hate it. Hate it. Um. No. Uh, when's the last time you had Alfredo? Uh, I've never had Alfredo. And I will never have it. <laughs> will you try a bite once for me? No. I I feel very confident you no. would love it. It's not like mayonnaise. No. It's I don't even really. I can't even imagine. Like I've had Alfredo on like a. If you gave me $500, I still wouldn't eat it. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, listen. The entire month's uh, income for Patreon is going to go towards Darren having a bite of Alfredo. I will throw up. Or. Oh, that's fine. How about That'd be this? That'd great, great how radio. About this? Once Rare Form hits 1000 a month. Then you have to have some Alfredo sauce. All right, so then what are you going to do? I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I don't need a dick Dude, he, we're trying to find things that people... Whatever hey, you want. Hey, <laughs> stop trying to pick things that are pleasurable for you. And it's true. Yeah, so you I'll let play. you suck my dick. <laughs> hey, I'll allow it. You, hey, if, if he... Okay, so seriously, if... if, 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 if oh, what a gift. If, Listen, you won't choke on it, I promise. It's, it's easy to take. Johnny, Johnny you he had an like idea? white sauce. <laughs> it's true, so, it's true. Mine comes out brown. I don't know why. Either brown or red. Wait, two thoughts. One, have you ever seen yellow mustard in the United Kingdom? It's brown. I don't know why. Dark brown. Like, it looks like A1 sauce. So strange. Probably because it's pure? Mm, I don't know, but, like, it's tasted exactly like yellow mustard. Maybe that maybe it's treated to make it yellow. Wonder. But anyway, going back, I think it, you could hit a, you could do a goal where if rare form hits 1000 a month. There's no way. Goal. I'm, I'm, I won't do that. I won't eat any cheese. None of that. You don't like any, so you do you like like cheddar cheese? No. Okay. This is You said any cheese by the way. And then you're like what about cheddar? Well, I know because <laughs> I didn't know. Just I was we were on the topic. I mean, I'll eat mozzarella because we were on the topic. Pizza's of, different to me. Okay. We were on the topic of creamy white True. stuff. So cheddar cheese <laughs> to me is like yellow. So I'm wondering, I just thought you were saying like all white cheese. Mozzarella sticks? Dude, I can eat those. Good. Yeah. I I, I actually would rethink like this work situation, if, <laughs> if you I couldn't, couldn't do a mozzarella was... stick, really, it might be an issue. Mozzarella sticks are good. They're so fucking yeah, good, dude. Good. They could burn your mouth. That's a deal so breaker good. for you. We, we, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm like, I can't work with someone who can't get down on a mozzarella stick. Everything else, all your other numerous flaws, I can deal with, but the, the <laughs> mozzarella stick is uh, no chance. All right, so so what do you like? What do you not like that a lot of people like? I hate blue cheese. It's one of my least favorite things in the entire planet. Mm-mm. Yeah, but Mm-mm. that makes sense. Why? Who eats blue cheese? A if, lot of people. Uh, dude. I would, I would, That's so if, disgusting. Okay, so before I stopped uh, with chicken, and I didn't, I did it begrudgingly. I love, I love chicken. I love to why'd eat you, it. Why'd you, why'd you stop? It was a... Um, You're going towards vegan. No? Uh, well, it was a two-week thing. My wife was like, uh, just try two weeks meat-free or vegan. Just try it. Just like She's two. vegan? Yeah. Or okay. she was vegan at the time. I think okay. she was vegetarian. She wifed you. I love you, but I want to change you. But <laughs> it was essentially, it was like, you know, I think I hit like 38 or 39, 40. I don't remember what it was. But, and we're branching off topics. I feel like there's like five other branches I want to go back to on this. Let's make notes. What do you want to get back to? We'll make a note. I can't remember now. Who's the most ADD here? Food I hate. 
<laughs> let's, let's figure that out. I think we out. were talking about Discord well, at some point. Darren and I are both medicated for ADHD, <laughs> okay. so you must be the most off topic. Yeah, I'm, I'm a long way off. <laughs> Food I hate, yeah. Discord. I feel like we were... I, I just okay, wanted, stay on topic oh, now. Yeah, what, what happened with Discord? I just wanted everyone... <laughs> I think I just wanted to close with... What I do you guys think of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Everyone go sign up for Discord right now in the, in the uh, impending uh, nature that Dan will get Discord set up for Rear Form Radio. Darren's been trying, he's supposed to do it for the last three weeks, but he's like, he's busy watching basketball and doing laundry and shit. He mm-hmm. just, he, just living my life. Just <laughs> living your life. I don't know why he won't do stuff when I'm not paying him. It's <laughs> fucking crazy to me. <laughs> like I asked him to do something once, twice, three times, but he has to make a living or whatever. Uh, so we can, we like, can, we can, get, we can get off Discord. Yeah. I think I explained Discord to the best of my ability. So we can. No, you did a good job. So foods right. I will not eat. Uh, horseradish and okay. blue cheese. Are He's already crazy. Though. Number one and two, I just, I, dude, dude. I went, I got a steak. I went and got a fillet at like a nice restaurant once, and it came with blue cheese on it. I would have rather a piece of dog shit <laughs> been on top of <laughs> it. Just flick it, flick it off. Oh, just like that, get off. But the blue cheese gets in it. It's are so you, but gross. are you are you one that once it's on there, it's ruined? Because that's that's me. Um, you can't scrape it off for me. Blue cheese, I can't scrape off. But there's like garnishes or some sauces. I, I can. I can deal with most, like if, if my food comes out a little bit wrong, I'm very rarely a send it back guy. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm, unless it's, it's I won't send it back, but if I it's just expensive, eat it. yeah. I'll send it back because I want what I'm paying for. But like if I go to McDonald's and I get a cheeseburger with no pickles and there's yeah. a pickle on it, not I'm not going to like, well, yeah. oh, excuse me, um, <laughs> uh, there's a pickle on this. You don't like pickles? <laughs> no. Oh, it's another man. food I hate. 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 Pickles on a burger is great. Um, okay, like it'll me, make you gag if you ate it. So you, here's the thing: it make me kill somebody. Here's the really? the no. I love I loved my favorite food. Still, is buffalo wings, chicken. That's your favorite food. I loved, but you don't eat chicken. I, I'm, that's, saying, I'm that's, saying I stopped eating. Okay. Meat. That's how powerful his wife that's is. How, <laughs> I'm gonna damn. take away your favorite uh, food. Well, you. I've been able to still experience <laughs> buffalo heat, yeah. and I like the sweat of my brow. Have you had the um? What is that? The uh, buffalo uh, cauliflower? Yeah, it's good. It's not is bad. It good? It's, it's not good. bad. It's good. It's Stop not, it. It, it, doesn't hit, I, it doesn't hit the same, but it is like the taste of buffalo, which is what I, I love. And I like blue cheese. What were you going to say about buffalo cauliflower? That it's, it's, I'm not the kind of person that would ever like be into You're not endorsing trying it cauliflower yeah. or whatever, but like it's surprisingly like, okay. It worked. Yeah. It, it, if you're talking about the spice and that thing, mm-hmm. it does that no problem. Yeah, I like the thing. I like but the spice. Yeah, a ch- a buffalo chicken wing. I know is just so. My favorite food before st- stopping was buffalo wings and, a, and like a cold pitcher of beer and like watching you know some cool sports or like whatever. Uh, it used to be like ultimate uh, um, gold, a, Goldberg Goldberg era. Do you need a moment? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Goldberg era. Du- in du- was it WWE? E? What was it? Are, are you gonna come? Yeah. The way what, what, <laughs> let, let, Dude, let, let's get him there. No so, one has had an orgasm on the show yet. Please, if you can work one up, please if do the it. dog dies <laughs> over here. Johnny will come if yeah. the dog dies on yeah. the couch. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh shit! No, she, she, that is darkness. They they are over there licking their pul- palms. They it's not a it's not, you don't have, you can gender the dog. It's okay. It's a male dog. It That's Walter ben, the dog. You call it they. They they's licking their. I palms. did it pointedly. You heard me say it. I was like, so, do uh, not misgender that dog, sir. <laughs> um. So what, uh, Lisa was basically like. I think I ate a fuckload of like soul. burgers or something. I ate something, and I like wake up in the morning, and my like eyes are swollen, you know, like, and that's normal. And I, I felt, I mean, I definitely felt puffy the next day or something, whatever it was. She's like, just try because your kid, you're young, you know, your kid's young, like. Fair, I yeah. I, I understand. I yeah. begrudgingly, I yeah. understand. And like, I think my my like at some point, like my grandma had a heart attack. She's like, it's in your family, and I'm like, it's not my grandma. It's probably my grandpa that would have the thing, but. Um, regardless, I was like, God, I wish they could have died on the podcast. <laughs> don't misgender my grandparents. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, de- the bet was like, just two weeks, just try it and you'll see how you feel and you can go right back. Just try it. And so, um, I did like a pretty good, uh, meal plan. This I'm probably boring, but may- this is part of my life. I, I valued this experience. I did like a, a good, a pr- <laughs> you need to have that as a sound. It should get the snoring. Get the snore. <laughs> That's pretty good. It would ruin people's. No, Johnny, please con- more about veganism. Confidence. Please. No, but, seriously, go for so, it. So uh, I, it wasn't like I just like switched over to like 
soy patties. It was like I, I replaced it with like pretty good uh, like plant based stuff. Like there was probably several things you'd make fun of quinoa. Like there's things in there that yeah. felt like a uh, gay um, stuff. Rice peel off the <laughs> fucking ears. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was, but there was a bunch of stuff in there that, that made me feel like I was pretty f- thoroughly filled. And two weeks later, she's like, well, how was it? And I wanted so badly to say like, oh, I, it's fucking lame. I hated it. And give me a right. plate of hot wings. But I truly did feel a complete difference in energy and the way I woke up in the morning. And it, Oh, and yeah, like, absolutely. And so I really realized, I'm like, well, I guess I could probably fuck off and eat a bunch of shit in my... Tw- teens and 20s but like as i'm getting older like you do slowly <laughs> clog <laughs> clog your arteries yeah you do slowly clog your arteries and um <laughs> oh was that your, your laptop <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i stayed with it and uh i ended up eating i ended up eating uh fish and cheese and dairy again so Tell it again, dude. Uh, it's we're thinking about making a a, a seven season uh, HBO show about. Oh my god! It's, please do, dude. Uh, 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 All I'm saying is try it for two weeks, motherfuckers. It feels good. Listen, no, it does feel good. This has been I've really, done it. This has right? been the point yeah, of the entire good. episode. We want you guys to try to stop eating delicious food <laughs> and eat eat food that sucks. Just try food that sucks for a little while. See what happens. But I will you know, say you know. so. Back before I stopped, my. My favorite thing was hot wings with a big fucking plate of blue cheese. And if they brought me ranch at the B-dubs, I'd be like, send it back. Give me some yeah. blue cheese. Yeah, 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 Oh, you're no ranch yeah. blue cheese. I just want blue cheese. I like the taste of the blue cheese and the creamy um, little chunks of, what is it? Probably rotten <laughs> belly This mold. I don't know what there's it is. Something, the reason I don't like blue cheese a lot, too, is because when I was a younger man, you know, I've always watched these horrible videos online. Yeah. Horrible, either sex videos or horrible murder stuff. Everyone, we're not going to talk That's about it again. That's not good for you, but it's all right. I'm doing pretty good, dude. <laughs> top of thing. the world. <laughs> no thing. nightmares whatsoever. <laughs> but I saw a video of a dude pulling back his foreskin, and it was full of all this little chunks of cheese, and it looks <laughs> just like blue cheese. Yeah. Like, it could not, if it... If it wasn't blue cheese, like well, it has to, you know, that's the medical definition of schmegma. Yes, yeah. it's schmegma. Right. Okay. Yeah, correct. That's the that's the doctors would say that. And I have since I've eaten blue cheese, mm-hmm. and I have to assume schmegma tastes better than blue cheese. Mm-hmm. I have to assume. <laughs> like I would have preferred that steak that I got yeah. come with fucking speckled schmegma all over it rather than. Hey, blue I have cheese. a question for you. So then, can uh, we get back to schmegma, please? All videos. There are no sites that just have straight mp4s playing with no titles you had to see a title that says guys pulls back dick skin to see oh like, yeah so dude <laughs> it was something about dick cheese or something you want to see it i'm good <laughs> cool cool well uh, uh, so you're like yeah this is play very very skip rarely ad. <laughs> very rarely will i choose not to watch something All right and the things i won't i won't watch anything with uh kids getting hurt sure I, that is kind of like where i sort of draw the line yeah well that's <laughs> not true actually you know what mm. I lied to you guys. <laughs> I did just lie to you guys okay. because my favorite account on Instagram is kids, at getting, kids hurt. getting hurt. Yeah, yeah. But that's I don't different. Watch that. Yeah, it's, that's a that's that's playful, that's goofy. Maybe playful, goofy. Dude, it's not like you aren't seeing kids get blown oh, it's up. Not, in, it's in not Tunisia Israel. or like right. yeah, Russia. Well, what, yeah, like, it's not Gaza Strip shit. Tripping, it's like tripping over their shoes or it, something. Birthday right. party in Cincinnati. Or like kid dad. Falls off the slide. Dad thinks it's a great idea to send his kid down down the fucking steep driveway on a tricycle, <laughs> and like the kid hits a mailbox at ninety miles an hour. Like I'll watch that. Like, there's been videos on that that I've watched 30 times in a row where I'm just like, God, this is great. We got a dog down. <laughs> Walter, Walter, please keep it down. Okay. They probably can't hear that, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's they just started like <laughs> nervously panting. He's like, enough of the vegan talk. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. Um, so I, I uh, my uh, lovely wife and I watch Ridiculousness every night of our life, at least two or three episodes for... So that's real. I would say... At least ten years. You still watch it every night. It, I do believe we are a part of the reason that it it airs it's still on MTV. Eight, no, no, it airs maybe eighteen to twenty hours a day, sometimes two times on MTV and MTV Two. Just catering we're, to we're, you guys. We're part of the problem. We're, we're uh, I. What show again? Ridiculousness. Rob Deerdeck and uh, oh, Chanel I know, West Coast. I never saw that. Who I will say, Rob Deerdeck used to live about three or four houses this way. Oh, on, did he? Yeah, on Hollycrest. When my little brother came to visit. Like seven, eight years ago, whatever it was, he was a huge ridiculous fan, mm-hmm. Ridic- ridiculousness fan. Yeah. 
and I brought him to what's it, the Fantasy Factory? What's this called? Uh, yeah, but that 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 was a little bit out of L.A. It was like Riverside, wasn't? It? No, it wasn't too far. Okay. There was there was there was a spot in downtown, mm-hmm. but I drove him past where it was, and we saw him with one of his crazy cars ripping donuts in the middle of the street. Like yeah. we, I could not have planned it better for oh, my little brother awesome. to see something. But um, how many seasons do they have? And you must know every moment that's coming up. Um, next. We've definitely seen. Uh, I'd say we've seen all of the legacy rid- ridiculousnesses, and uh, I mean like uh, that's like a, like seasons one through sixteen. What is it about? Ridiculousness so, is is a, have you ever seen the film Idiocracy? Yeah, of course. Okay, so in in the future of Idiocracy, uh, uh, what's his name? Who's the guy who's who's a uh, Dax Dax Shepard's character? He just kind of. Sits in his house and like shits on a on a on all a, the lazy boys have toilets all the lazy built boys in. Have a toilet built in, and he just sort of yeah. like he, he either he just like kind of his existence is jacking off and watching this one TV show where people just get kicked in the nuts all yeah. day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially it's the reality of us heading towards that, in that it's just America's Funniest Home Videos, but with like pop culture commentators that are not that pop culture; they're just sort of funny. And I will say, I would die for. Stilo Brim, uh, he's a hilarious. He's a hilarious guy. He has a podcast about wine and weed. I've never listened, but wine and weed. Yeah, it's a good name. Yeah. So uh, he's. I mean, so it's Rob Durdick as the host. There's two co-hosts with, with uh, like just sort of permanent places on the couch, and then every episode has a guest star. So uh, okay. anyone like it could be, and it could be like, it's something that became like you know YouTubers started doing it all like uh like H three. How they just like kind of watch YouTube videos and comment on it. I never saw that. Is that what H3 does? I mean, kind of a lot. They, oh, okay. they, their show is based a lot around like, let's watch this YouTube video and talk about it for a while. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, that's what that's they, how they got a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah, of course. All right, scrap the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the show. So the thing about ridiculousness. New plan. <laughs> ridiculousness is fully staffed by writers in that they source clips that have uh, themes. So Rob Durdick is like, he sets up the theme. He's like, do you know who he is? Have you heard that name before? A skateboarder. I, I've, yeah, I know Rob, the name. Remember Robin Big? That show, Robin yeah. Big. So he's the he's a little guy, and uh, and he is a entrepreneur. He's a businessman. He's a professional skateboarder. He's uh, a very likable guy. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's just like a he's just like a funny. He's pretty funny. He's a good, so what is so addictive? It, it's essentially. It's. I mean, did you watch America's Funniest Home Videos ever? It like, is the same thing. Where like it's it, the same. If I'm thing. flipping channels, yeah. And well, I mean, but did you guys really watch that every week? Yeah, I would watch it. Maybe really? That's, well, well, the thing is, about is America, that some white shit. It, it might be. <laughs> it's very well. It was Bob Saget. <laughs> Here's what's really funny about America's Funniest Home Videos. Uh, we've we, got laughs from coast, coast to coast to make you smile. We're yeah. like looking it's easy easy to you to capture all that style. You're the red, white, and blue. All the funny things you do. America, America, this is you. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I mean, Did I you definitely know. remember that. Okay. But Dude, that could never happen. fucking knock that one out there, of the park. There's a fucking beavers to that song, and I looked it up one day. Oh, it's I think good. I've heard it. Okay. Should we pull it up? Yeah, please. Do. Uh, can we play it? I mean, just just throw your mic on the on yeah. the speakers. But no, I mean, can we legally play it? Hmm. Of course. So listen. Yeah, um, whoever um, whoever owns that ain't looking for nothing. Yeah, that's true. So so Pay America's me. America's <laughs> Funniest Home Videos was um the same way they just played videos and Bob Saget was a comedian and also I think there was another host. I know that and I know, but like uh, there was another host. Dave Coulier was Dave. on event. No, no, he wasn't. That, that's no, a different show. He was mer- on you're uh, merging your full house. The universe. Jackalope. What the show? What was his show called? Mm. With the jackalope on it. It would know. come on after America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh yeah, I, don't, I feel like I remember that. Bl- bl- anyway, bl- sorry. Blurry. But the the thing that was funny about Tom it Bergeron is that, is that Tom uh, uh, Bob Saget would make like uh, commentary banter that was funny, but the f- the videos were very like funny too. And then at the end, there was a fucking prize, which was really weird. But the crazy thing about America's Funniest Home, Funniest Home Videos is that. There was a huge dress code for that show. So if you watch everyone, they were dressed to the T's. Like you had to have like your church. I don't Sunday. remember that. It was crazy. If you ever watch it, uh, if you ever seen, it's probably on YouTube. But everybody was dressed to the nines on that show, and that was so weird to me. Um, yes, from coast to coast, to make you smile for you, Lisa. It's a good hook. Capture all that style. You're the red, white, and blue. 
All the funny things you do, America, America. This Get ready for the for the beavers. Here we are. Your friends next door. Same one. You never told. You might be a star tonight. So let the camera roll. Okay. Get ready. There's a fucking bridge coming. Okay, here we go. Listen, there's a bridge. Oh, she's letting loose a little bit. Oh, same one. This might not be the full song. Yeah, there's another. There's an. Okay, sax solo. Of course. But there's another version of this song that has like a full another section. What's the over and under that that woman's still alive? <laughs> I think she's around. I think she's around. We could probably look her up. That's a good question. No one would be a really good piece of trivia mm-hmm. if it was the same girl from the Gimme Shelter. It's just a shout away. That would be cool. <laughs> a little know. loop. Do you know who that is? No. Mm-mm. You know who that is? It's a long solo. It's big. I mean, he's taking some liberties aggressive. with the sax. That's an aggressive <laughs> You never solo. watched America's Funny Home Videos? Of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you're fucking so, getting so, all our shit about it. So yeah, it was like, a, not dude. for more than two minutes. But it's a wildly popular show. It ran for decades, I think. Yeah. So I the, mean, yeah. But like, so, so check this out. Ridiculousness has been on for at least 500 episodes. I want to say maybe close to 800. But, um, but what about Discord? <laughs> go ahead. No, keep going. Tell us, your, <laughs> tell us your, how you tried veganism please. again. No, but go, go ahead, please. So it's... Uh, it's endless in that it will never get old because I don't, I mean, if it's, I would have timeless. been able to get tired of that show, I would have been tired by now. Yeah. I love the, they still make them. They still make them. And, and, and it's, they probably, you can even tell we've watched it so many times that we know when they're fighting, like between takes, like you can tell when Rob's probably just yelled at, <laughs> at, at Stilo and Chantel Chanel, uh, Chanel West coast. And you can, you can tell when it's awkward. You can tell I've seen, Chanel fight with guests, like real fight, like Ooh. upset, like uh, Charlamagne the God came on and he had like bad mouth her because she's an aspiring rapper and she got oh, really yeah. upset about that. And like, it, it I, was, remember, it came I remember when she came to Dash, <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, so she's, yeah. she's got like a full on like attitude about where she's probably, you know, thinks that she's um, like a celebrity, but not because of ridiculousness. Uh, that's, it's not really right. the case. And uh, Know your place. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, well. It's such a good show, and it's just reliable. It puts us so when we're we only watch it when we like kind of get in bed and sort of the day is over. So it's got this like effect now that's almost like Pavlovian, where it you're forces like, you to turn your brain off. It's basic. That's it. And I mean, yep. I've like and <laughs> you like, start you start going to sleep. Yeah. Oh, it's fully <laughs> makes me like chill, and uh, I won't watch it other than after getting in bed. So it's like it does have an effect that's repesh, repetition, repetitiveness, and and you know I think about like the movies that we deal it with at work are all very like heady and auteur and like complex. And a lot of the things are like, it's your winding down. It's for sure. And I'm, I don't, I'm probably alone in the fact that I like, uh, ridiculousness, but I do think garbage TV is great. You sort of stop. You are definitely not alone because it literally is on. It's like, it's my show of that Mm -hmm. is impractical jokers and impractical jokers has done to true TV. What ridiculousness has done to MTV, where it's taken it over. Oh yeah, and True TV is just—it's the channel that houses all the Impractical Jokers episodes. I hope it's those on. guys are getting paid. Oh, I would think so. I would assume so. One thing that's weird about Impractical Jokers, and maybe I'm wrong, but I assumed that those guys signed a bad deal with True TV because it was a barrel network at the time, bottom of the barrel. There's no way their first contracts were even remotely reasonable. So here's why I feel like that: the first season. Typically, you get 12 episodes, maybe 15. Then you re-up for season two. Something happened. Their deal was bad or something. And the first season went to, like, episode 64. So it just kept going. And those guys were probably just not getting paid very much. Mm. And the first season has, like, so I mean, so many episodes that you notice it in the fucking direct TV info. You're like, wait, what? Episode 64, <laughs> first season? Like, <laughs> give what is dudes, it really? Is it really that many? It was so many in the first season. It's like, give these dudes a deal. Like, yeah. this is obviously a working for you. <laughs> and they, and in order to, you know, you probably renegotiate at the second season. Right. And they're like, okay, let's, we'll get crafty. Although with True season. TV may have locked them up for like three seasons or and something. And then said like the that. first season doesn't have an end. That's <laughs> fucking mean. <laughs> it totally is. <laughs> have you seen that show, Darren? Um, not in its entirety. It is without four lifelong friends. Pr- oh my! Compete <laughs> to embarrass each, each other. <laughs> it's four dudes from New York. Yeah, yeah, it's real. It's mm-hmm. real. And it's you all, know it's, that? It, yeah, uh, well, I, I think uh, early on it was real. I've seen some stuff lately where I'm like, uh, these guys. Like, there's some people in Central Park 
that I feel like no, the cameras are happening. Well, the, also the show is so big now. There's no way they yeah. can trick everybody. That's right. But as far as like, I, I don't think the guys know what's going to happen. I do think they get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, you know. Oh, you, I know who you like. You have to like. You like Eric Andre. Of course you of like. Of course. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? I love Eric Andre. You, that show you is don't? so good. No, no, I think he's funny. Oh, he's, he's, he's brilliant. I mean, I, I, what I like about him too is that uh, he goes so far. It's almost like performance art mm -hmm. where the season that he. Uh, oh, he like suffers for the art. He didn't, he didn't shower. He didn't <laughs> yeah. wash his, his clothes or grew. cut his fingernails or his, or, and didn't brush his teeth. For the fucking yeah. season, yeah, that's that's a, <laughs> and that was just for the sake. Like, yeah, no one on no one watching knows that he smells bad, mm -hmm. but it it makes an air in the studio of like every, you can feel people working on the show being like, oh, oh I, I know, and uh, the guests can I know, smell I know, him. I know a guy who worked on that show. Oh, tell me. And he said uh, there were several you know injuries that happened because he's the the open the intro of the show. Every single episode is him and just trashing the set. Trashing the set. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there. Um, <laughs> they, if you watch it now with knowing this, it's super funny, but they would purposely crank the heat in the studio to like a hundred oh, yeah. degrees. <laughs> so the, so like, the guests would come the in. The guests come in, they're like, it's fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like heat on in the summer. <laughs> and they would have birds in the rafters that are just like, what's up? What's going on? It's occasionally I, shit down. I like. think it was Carmen Electra where they released, like they put rats under her chair. <laughs> so like something ran across her foot. It's like, ah! And, yeah, and yeah. But no seriously, one, how do they not know, man? Because they they, have, they, they don't have bad publicists. Yeah. So every yeah, single go. guest that's on there, it's is, just like basically airing out terrible it's, publicists. It's basically, yeah, it's a publicist the gallows, <laughs> and it's essentially showing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like showing uh, which stars are down for whatever. Like not, I don't mean stars. Right. I mean like Spencer Pratt. He's just like. Sure, I'll show up. Right, but, right. But there's some legit people and that then come on there. Dude, Jack Black was on there, and right. he was like, "What the fuck?" Oh yeah, like, he was like, he, he he was not in normal Jack Black uh, mode. Mm -hmm. He was like concerned, like, yeah. "What is this? <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna make it out of here? It's a yeah, snuff film. Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck's going on here?" Yeah, it's firecrackers went off or something. Yeah, it's such oh, yeah. a great he show. He had a big jump in that one, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like them people. <laughs> <laughs> I like when people are walking across the stage and they step in the hole. The carpet is <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. No, it, wasn't, it was either John Cena or Dude, the, the uh, set is like the game Mousetrap or something. <laughs> Chris was it? No, Chris Benoit killed himself, right? Yeah, he did. Who's, who's the other? Who's the other? Not wrestler? on this podcast, but he should have. <laughs> who's the other wrestler that uh, sort of Chris Benoit ish? Um, um, Jericho. That's him, okay. Chris Jericho. <laughs> Wait, it was what? two of them who did that? No, 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 no. Just no, no. Jericho's the one that survived and went on Eric Andre. So, so Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit get confused in my head. They look sort of similar. Oh, okay. Chris, but Chris Jericho was walking across the set after being fully sketched out for like eight minutes and just steps in a broken board and just <laughs> his leg crashes through the set and they just pause it right on that. And it's like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. and they always he's just like <laughs> the yeah. genius of like the uh, the the Tim and Eric the pause pausing on the right spot mm -hmm. is so it's. Such a wonderful yeah. comedy. It's a great, it's comedy a great show. I should probably. I mean, I so we lost the, the audience. We lost them. No, I think they're digging this. Did you watch Bad Trip? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It was. Uh, it was. I mean, I. I think I. You guys know the story of that. How what happened with that movie, right? Oh, yeah, kind does, of. Does how, it ruin the movie? No, 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 no. no yeah, I'm talking sad. about the. I'm talking like, about the. It was supposed to be a mega. <laughs> was, fuck it. I yeah. mean, it would have made him a. Uh, loaded, I yeah. would think. It's very, bad it's trip? very, yeah, yeah, bad trip. So, no, no. So that movie uh, was made, I want to say in 2017. Yeah. And um, this is the Eric Andre right. thing that just came Netflix on Netflix now, yeah. So, so, so this was done four years ago. It's sort of scripted. Okay. Um, he, he made the movie. He basically said, I have to make this movie right now because people soon will know who I am and I, I can't do it, you know. Right, Johnny smart. No Johnny Knoxville style. Like, yep. you, you become a household face and he... Uh, before you need prosthetics, you know, do it now. Yeah, he needed to make the movie. So they made the movie and um, they, I guess they set it up with, I don't want to name companies, I'm not sure. But they set it up with a distributor and um, it's really funny to think about how this worked. But they were going to launch it on Prime and sell the movie. Not Prime Video, not on demand, like free. But like put the movie up for sale, nineteen bucks or whatever. I forget. Okay. I forget the deal. And in my mind, I'm just imagining the control board at Prime. It's like a big button that says "Release movie for free." <laughs> and the guy just hit that by accident, and the shit went to Prime Video, totally un un, un, un not on purpose. 
a complete mistake. As a free stream? As a free stream. In just 2017? Like, just randomly one night. And everyone's really? like, yeah. And so that movie, thousands of people saw it in 2017 just on Prime for like nothing. And then that completely, so then it became like toxic. We're not going to, no other studio is going to buy the movie and put it in theaters because it's. It's probably been ripped already now at that point. It's been seen on Prime legitimately. By, oh my God. And so uh, it was, a mis- and like, like it's so funny to think that the mistake is like a big button. It's like launch movie free. <laughs> or it's like right. launch movie for lots of money. It's like one of these. It's, yeah, boop, boop. Yeah, it's like two big buttons. And the guy's like, eh. um, it's very, uh, but anyway, the movie's great. I don't, I don't, uh, I, I have memories of it from when I first saw it, but, um, I think Eric Andre is genius and, and, and he's a Kaufmanish. You don't really know when he's like, is he ever real? Joking or, yeah. yeah. I guess he has a stand up. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. He's, he's got a stand up act. Where he's sort of real and it feels self deprecating. He's not. I've seen him do stand up. That's a good one. And, and, and uh, Darren does comedy as well. Oh, okay, nice. So well, let's not be uh, let's let's not be liberal with. You do comedy. Darren has written jokes I've, before and performed them in front of an audience. We can say that. That's comedy, man. Yeah, Darren's a fucking top. He's Chappelle. Who? Darren. <laughs> Darren. Yeah, I I, uh, I love stand up comedy. I can't mouth. wait to get back to stand up comedy. Watching it, I love going in those rooms. And oh my god, yeah. I went with you and Lisa. We went to the comedy store. Mm-hmm. What four or five years ago? Maybe yeah. Back when we saw Cancelled Crystalia. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good night. No, he's, he's reemerged, and I love it. Yeah. By the way, um, I hated Crystalia for years, mm-hmm. and you're one of the people that like just come see a stand up. It's so great. Yeah. It's so great. It was and funny. It, and I went. And oh, I'm I didn't like, know you didn't like him. I hated him. I, 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 I never watched his podcast. He's, I mean, he's a, on the surface, like a bef- before, like he's extremely smug in the way that he sells himself. I don't know if presents himself, whatever, but yeah, like, yeah, but part like, of the but, thing, but I would part of it, but the stand up was extremely like, uh, I mean, first of all, the dude worked like insane. He was at every, he's like four clubs a night, five nights, five nights <laughs> he a week. Put the, he put the time in. He was crazy working. But he was so good at working just randomly off the cuff, like making fun of shit that's happening in the moment that it t- couldn't have been written. And I always thought that was like a His brain unique. is so quick. Yeah, that's yeah. what so, Dan was telling me about the podcast, that it, like him breaking into characters and stuff yeah. is like pretty good. Yeah. That, that's what I want to get to, is that like I, I, I put off the Dalia thing for years. Like you, you and Lisa have both tried to get me to like, like a stand-up. My friend Ren tried to like... He's the funniest. He's the funniest. And I never found a stand-up funny. Mm-hmm. So I go with you guys to the comedy store. Yeah, you, you like stand-up. I love stand-up. Oh, okay. But I hated his. Oh, you, okay. Got I did you, not. Got I you. love stand-up. Mm-hmm. But I did not like his brand or whatever he was doing up there. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the comedy store with you guys. Saw him do his set. He was funny. The whole night was a blast. Great yeah. people were there that night. And like seeing him perform softened me on him a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then I got into his podcast, which quickly became my favorite podcast to ever listen to. Oh, wow. I it, never even so listened to it. It's so fucking funny. It's mm. just him talking to camera by himself for an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. And it's mind-blowingly quick and funny. And I was all about it. I was all in. And then he's canceled. Yeah. So I tried to put it off for years. You fuckers got me back mm-hmm. into him. My friend Ren got me into him. And I told you. I told you guys. Yeah, I didn't. I, now I, I'm back in. All Now I'm all in on his podcast. I, didn't, I didn't like how much he would like fight with people online. I thought that was a little bit... Um, Oh, the Jake Paul stuff was pretty just, wild. I mean, just no, not even Jake Paul. He's a celebrity, but he would fight with like random people, and I just thought that was always like, uh, just like don't do that. Don't go. How on come? Like, I guess it's like I'm a random person, you know. Yeah. Like, so I just feel like you're punching down. I guess that's the word. But but know. he does it to people that start shit with him. Maybe you're right. And yeah. that's the same same way Seth Rogen does it. Uh-huh. Like Seth Rogen, if someone makes like a comment, he would like. Fuck you. Don't go to my movies. I don't ever want you to <laughs> yeah, see I my movie. Right. Yeah, I, I don't, don't buy another thing of mine. Fuck you. And like, uh, I feel like I know what you're saying. If you're a celebrity and you have like a, a million followers or whatever mm-hmm. it is, if you're going to just randomly attack a, someone on the internet, yeah. that's fucked up yeah. and awful. But if someone calls you, like if someone calls Seth Rogen, like a, a racial slur or does something like that, or someone makes fun of Dalia's comedy or his career. Yeah. Like I say, come out swinging. Yeah, like I, I don't. This yeah, idea of like of letting the, trolls troll. Yeah, like yeah, you're right. I guess you. I guess you. You know, you. You should say that like the internet has birthed a new connection between everyone, and n- n- to like walk some sort of like invisible line just because it's couth. 
Yeah. Is, why? Why, why yeah. should people be forced yeah. to take it? You know. Hey, he if went a little too far with it, didn't he? <laughs> a little bit. A <laughs> little yeah, bit. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I just uh, if if you if sometimes if you let trolls keep going, they'll mm-hmm. never stop. Yeah. But one move that it, it's so easy to do for people that have big followings is just just sick your fans on them. Yeah. <laughs> make them make their account private. Yeah. Like do whatever. You know. Yeah. I, I'm all about it. Yeah, I love it. Um. I had so many notes to talk about tonight, but we've can been we, going can crazy. We, it's, it's, I mean, I don't have a an out. Great, but can can I use the restroom? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe of course. A, maybe hit a, a. No, just go ahead. I'm, I'll keep talking to Darren for a minute. Cool. Um, we'll talk about you behind your back yeah. just for a second. Um, Darren, how do you think it's going, buddy? Terrible. He's oh, not very busy. good. Oh. He's not good. <laughs> He's so white, isn't he? <laughs> You told me. I kind of like you. Told, you told me. I, I know. I warned you. You warned me. Did I? Did I not? You like this guy, the whitest. And we're back after our delicious pee breaks. Man, we're not going to get into details, but the bathroom situation in this uh, studio was just very, very awkward. There's was a, it not? There's a yeah. It's I'm. That it was definitely. <laughs> I always got. You should remind me some. Whenever I would get interrogated by my dad as a kid, he would always be like, this is the thing that happened and you were knowledgeable of that and you had that knowledge, did you not? And I would always be like, how do I? I don't understand the format of that question. It's lawyer speak. Yeah, did you not was always very like, did I what? Right. Like, <laughs> I, I not, I yeah. not did. But yeah, I, uh, I went to the pee and there were like several teenagers on what seemed to be another sheet of like right on the other side of a sheet of paper. <laughs> Dude, it, it was it was more exposing than like yeah than like Japanese like rice paper yeah. or like uh yeah yeah we uh, Johnny one thing I, that happens when I when I pee is a lot of times you get an I, erection. I'll pee <laughs> up because I'm hard, rock hard. <laughs> of course, yeah, uh, it's the best way to go. I. Uh, no, I have to take the condom off. I work 24-7 condom. Safety um, first. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> yeah. You don't want another kid, you yeah. know? So, uh, no. It could but, be airborne now. But I um, I always flush the toilet like 60% through my pee thinking I'm over. Dude, I do that too it sometimes. It fucks me up. And a lot of times I'm like, damn it. I just completely, I have like another minute of this piss. It so, happens to me so much. And, and why do we flush half of the, it's fun to me. It's fun for me to piss down a water tornado. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, I just think I'm like, okay, this is it. It's over. Cause I, cause like we were in the bathroom and there's a very thin sh- sheet of drywall that seems like perhaps there's seven or eight teenagers on the other it's side. It's not drywall. Talking it's about slatted. TikTok. It's like, it's like a, a Venetian blinds, but <laughs> doors. Like we literally, you and I were just urinating four feet. From someone who's like barely an adult, but they were like just talking about TikTok dances, and I'm like, this you couldn't have write a more you couldn't write a more teenage conversation that I'm listening to right now as I'm pissing, and I know they hear me, so I'm pissing on the rim. I'm trying to like piss on the side of the me too, because yeah, yeah. they don't want to hear. And then it. I flush to be like, yo, I'm over, I'm out of here. Then I'm like, I'm pissing fucking another two minutes, and right. I just yellow up another fucking whole another bowl. Of water, Listen, dude. you just you just taught these teenage girls like what it sounds like to hear a man piss, and that mm-hmm. now they know, yeah. now they know, and they can move on with their lives. Yeah. Um. Shit, yeah, that was very awkward. But we're back. We are. Um, and we're talking about the bathroom, so I figured this would be a good time. Yeah. You and I have been very, uh, uh, we've followed the COVID protocols for yeah. the whole last year and a half. That's right. Um, Strict. Your household has taken it very seriously, mm-hmm. which is great. Yeah. It's a way to do it. Um, and uh, I heard an argument the other day that I want to get your guys' take on the idea of hygiene theater. Do you know what that is? Of like, you know how you go somewhere now, and if you if you touch a countertop, someone runs up behind you and sprays it and wipes okay, it down. Yeah, and we've known since like four four months into the pandemic, that, like, services, that services don't, don't do anything. That's right. Like, yeah. is it time for us to let go of the hygiene theater of like, we got your back, we're yeah. here, Best Buy. You we know, will not. I I don't. Right now, we're still in the throes of the mental wake of the. Of the whole terror, right? So mm-hmm. I don't mind it as much now. Now, if we were doing that Can still... You open that door for the dog? Sure, what's yeah. up, homie? You gonna go? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Unplugging shit, dying. Something door. unplugged? No, no. <laughs> cool. But Fucking ha- jerk. Howard, anyway. Howard, the dog? Walter. Walter. Yep. Um, so... <laughs> Another old man name. <laughs> yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. So, uh, hello. Um, I feel like something changed. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't mind it right now as much because it makes me Watch feel like we're... Yep. 
we're on our way uh, back and people care, but I'm still indoors. Like I've, I've been, I've been going to the gym a lot in the last week and every single gym uh, patron gets handed a, uh, a bottle of disinfectant spray that's been disinfected. So there's a section for disinfectant uh, spray bottles mm -hmm. and, a, and a towel. So anything that you touch, a bar, a gym, a, um, a, um, a, a, you know, a bench, yep. anything you touch, you spray down and wipe down. So you do it yourself. Yeah. They want you to, yeah. that's part of the so thing. Every single person in the gym is walking around with a spray bottle of disinfectant and a towel. Okay. And they're working out, doing their things, doing whatever. And, and uh, when you're done, you're supposed to clean up after yourself. So, so you're, you're cool with it for now to let it keep going. Yeah, I don't mind because it's just like we're still in this thing. Mm-hmm. What is it? Only fifty percent of America is vaxxed. A little bit more, I think. Okay. But you, they want seventy-five before we're good. Yeah. But in two weeks, three weeks, LA is opening up yeah, completely. That's right, that's right. No masks, no nothing. Okay. So they say. Yeah, I you know I wouldn't care as much, mm -hmm. um, but I, I you know I ha we we have a nine-year-old and it's like she's right at the pocket of people who aren't vaccinated and kids aren't getting it. But um, you know I think the Moderna statistic just came out as being like every single <laughs> every single uh teen teen teenager yeah a yeah. hundred uh, percent uh, efficacy which is bizarre like what the fuck so so any teenager that has moderna is 100 percent well, covered every single teenager who's ever taken moderna has a hundred percent there's i mean like there's no drug at a hundred percent ever right. across the history of the planet Wow. So 100%. So that's fucking, for me, that's a little, like, it's just weird. But anyway, no, uh, I think teenagers were already, like, ironclad yeah. strong. So yeah. it's just basically, like, how about 98% on top of your 99%? So, of course, it's going to be 100. Um, is your is your daughter, uh, is she doing any kind of, like, play dates yet? Yeah. yeah oh, we, she is. Oh, yeah. We oh, good. Out. Went to a birthday party. Oh, that's great. Went to the jump house. Uh, she's been in the pool with kids. We've got we've got kids come over. We've gone over. It's been it's been great because the kids are just the kids that came over who are uh, kids at her school. They get tw tested twice a week. Okay. Yeah. So there's a there's a full on like system in place to make great. sure that the kids are good and the kids have always been good. Good for the kids. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to ask you guys about. There's something. I mean, there's many differences between men and women. Uh, beyond Name the one. biology. Um, <laughs> Men have bigger balls. Actually, <laughs> hey, uh, can you, Darren, can you turn that camera a little? There you go. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Um, well done. I didn't even. I, uh, I, do you I, work in movies? I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally hit it. No, I, but, I, but I'm drunk. I'm well, there kidding. you go. Perfect. I accidentally, I accidentally hit it. I went to go grab it and I hit it with my finger. There's something that dudes do that mm. girls just do not. Burp. No, my mm. wife can rip a good one. Yes. She burps really, really good. There's paper towels in there if you need one. Um, he comes everywhere. Give me, give me that little guy. I've been palming that up. Like there was one napkin that I held <laughs> during. I've done the, it before. I held a napkin at drag me to hell. Oh, the, the movie. At it's the a beginning, good film. the yeah. beginning of drag me to hell in the theater. I held that napkin. And I remember at the end, I looked up after spoiler alert. If you haven't seen fucking drag me to hell, go see it. She gets sucked into the fucking dirt at the end of the subway. My, f my fingers had dug into this matted up wet damp, Damp from my body sweat. Yeah. And uh, that's why I just handed you. <laughs> you you, you really basically gross. turned it into like paper mache <laughs> yeah. in a way. You know what I mean? Fibers. Um, but there's something that dudes do. I noticed this the other day because I was talking to my wife about, you know how like guys will hit each other on the balls? Like yeah. like uh, just out of nowhere. Yeah. Some guys. Pain games. It's like mm -hmm. dude pain games. Yeah. Not Girls, a fan. You, we, did you ever do it as a kid? No. You never like hit a buddy? Never hit like, a buddy in the balls. Guy? But there was this one guy who, um, and again, Virginia, I grew up in Virginia, so it was extremely like a like a slow state in terms of like um, just being cool with everybody. Uh, we had a buddy, I had a friend who uh, I grew up with who just hated the idea of anyone like like possibly, <laughs> I guess he was just scared. I mean, thinking back, it's like, man, maybe you were gay, gay, bro. He just hated the idea of anyone possibly touching his, touching dick. him or being near him. Like anything was gay. Like just, bro, it's so fucking gay. And like we would, we used to take the keys out of the car that he would like go in, like he'd go to the ATM or something. <laughs> we take the keys and put them on our. <laughs> 
<laughs> put them on our jeans. And he would come in the car and he'd be like, give me the keys. We're like, get them, dude. Come get them with your We're, lips. Like, <laughs> he would punch us so hard. Like, just like, and we would be laughing. And but keeping the keys on your yeah. dick. Because, like, you know, he's like fucking 17. How hard can you right, punch? Of like, course. He's, and he's like punching us in the arm and like yelling. And we were all like the car full of dudes just laughing so hard because he just wouldn't grab the keys. And it's like, uh, have you done a deep dive to see if he's gay? No, no, I don't. I, I, once I moved out, I lost touch with him. But he, he was a, he was a cool, smart guy. I don't know what happened. Like, I mean, there's obviously there's a few scenarios yeah. where he like, but uh, yeah, it was never a slap dick. As, he was as just Coach Jason on Last Chance You would say. Oh, uh, slap dick. Slap yep. Dick. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could he could be closeted gay. Mm-hmm. He could just not find that stuff funny. He could be homophobic. Oh yeah, he was could have been molestic. I mean, yeah. molestic. He yeah. could have been molested or yeah. something. Who knows? He was one hundred percent homophobic. Like like one of the main reasons I moved out of Virginia is I just felt like I felt like uh, and this isn't a huge slap to all of Virginia, but where I grew up, I just felt like I was like if I don't get out of here, you know, quickly. Then I'll wake up at like forty, and I'll be like an insurance broker. No, shout out to all insurance brokers, but I didn't want need them. Yep. Yeah, but I didn't like. That's wanna, not you. I didn't want to live and work amongst all of the people I went to junior high school with. I and had sell that insurance. same situation. Yeah, because after I left school, I moved to, to Virginia Beach. Yeah, same town, same town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where he where he's from. Yeah, I moved there when I was. Uh, and I never lived there as an adult. My mom's from there. Mm-hmm. Um. But I never like established my own life there, and uh, I started selling cars in at Nissan Virginia Beach, mm-hmm. Virginia Beach Boulevard. Yep, yep. Shout out, woo. Yeah, yep. And uh, <laughs> and I had the same thing. Well, I mean, I grew up in New York, so well, you saw the world. You yeah, understood. yeah. So I, I had, I knew, uh, <clears throat> I knew more than what Virginia Beach has to offer. So. I got to a point where I was like, yeah, I got to get out of here or I'll end up 40 and That's like, right. not much better than the 40 I am now. That's but. not true. <laughs> That's not true. I, I know what you're saying, but you've, you've done, you've had to build a pretty good career for yourself. You do some cool shit. You know, some cool people like you're oh, doing yeah. something better than selling cars or, you yeah. know, get hanging out with the same folks. What, what I was going to say, he actually knows where I probably worked. I worked at greater grinders in, in Norfolk. No, yeah. I, say, I never even, I didn't, I couldn't even get to Norfolk. Like I lived in, I lived really? there in high school. And then when I left high school, I went to college, which was, you know, three hours away. And, yeah. I, and after college, I went straight to LA. So, oh, okay. so I, like, oh, you so never no, lived an adult life. I or... never lived as an adult. So I was stuck gotcha. in the neighborhood and the like shore drive and the area that I like could bike to, <laughs> Right. Okay. but I could never get to like Norfolk seemed like a hundred miles Another away. place? Chesapeake? Bro, who the fuck has ever... You have to take a plane Oh, yeah. There? Who goes to Chesapeake, <laughs> though? Like an airplane? Like, and, the, and now, like, Chesapeake's like... Or, or, Hampton. or Hampton. Commutable, yeah. yeah. I, I went to there, Hampton Coliseum for, like, some concerts and stuff. But um, I knew that if I didn't leave Virginia Beach, then I would... Because I so many people that I remembered graduating high school and then even, like, going to college and coming back. I remember, I was like, why are they all living here still? Like, real estate yeah, people. Yeah, it's bad. And I was like... If I don't leave immediately, there's a strong chance that I'll be like, okay, I'll just work a couple years. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I left at 19. Yeah. And like I said, I've said this before, where it was very, very unlike me to leave a comfortable situation. Like I'm someone who like, if I'm content, I'm just going to stay content. I'm not, I'm not someone who strives for more all the time. Yeah. Very rarely do I do that. Well, speaking uh, speaking of dick punch, Lisa just tried to FaceTime me. So she wants to, so she, she always, every time she won't walk by me without like honking the donkey. I can call her and have her come on the Bluetooth here. Sure. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, then I can, I can bring her in on a, on a FaceTime so you can see her. But if you're a Bluetooth, or I can just, maybe I can just FaceTime her and the sound will work. Let me try. Yeah, it should um, work. It's gonna like, be whatever the sound is from your phone. I left. Uh, I left Massachusetts, and if I had I not left, I would have been stuck. You know, I, I the, 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 any question at all, I would have been stuck there, and I would have like taken over my dad's truck driving company. How like prescient of a of uh, of a notion to have at eighteen. Because you're sa- you just saved your own life pretty much, but to have that instinct, I don't know how it happened. To have that instinct at 18, and I feel the same way. I think I left it like tw- what? How, when do you graduate college? 22? I don't know. 20, 21, 22. 20. So like to have college that, is for losers. So I wouldn't know. <laughs> but to have right. that thought, I specifically remember being like, I have to go because there's no, there's no like good arts, and at least in the time there wasn't. There probably maybe there is now. 
But I just didn't feel like I was like, the chances are so stacked against me to have any sort of like. They finally got the funny bone. Oh, did they? Have, it was a comedy. Uh, they they finally got a, yeah, they oh, finally nice. got a comedy club. I, I don't even remember. And I was like, really? Virginia Beach? Good for you. I don't remember uh, any stand-up comedy there. Uh, no, it was it was way later. It's like, they're just all like venues with like guys singing grunge rock. Like, <laughs> the Jewish mother is one of, the, that's like the name of the venue. The Jewish mother, <laughs> the Boathouse, uh, Scope. Hampton Roads Coliseum. Oh my God! Hampton Coliseum. Well, <laughs> scope. <laughs> scope. What, what was that, the? That used to be my such a funny my name. grandmother. Uh, we used to live uh, in walking distance of the scope. Now they have like the Norva, which I didn't have. Yeah, yeah, I that's no. That. I didn't have that. I had the. I saw house. the Strokes there. Oh, nice. I think I've, played, nice. I think I've no, 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 done not, shows. Oh, there. you've probably definitely done shows there. I didn't see them there. Sorry, but I yeah, they've been there. But are I you texting with Lisa? I'm, I'm gonna call her. I'm calling her right now. All right. Let me see. Wait a minute. Hi, one second. Are you on? Can you do Bluetooth? I'm going to. I'm going to Bluetooth her right now. Uh, boom. Well, I well she tap in. Tap Lisa, in. Lisa, can you hear us? Yeah. 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 So dude. he Dan had to do it through his phone because he has the tap in on the Bluetooth. What's up, wow, love? <laughs> hey, the, the, Lisa. I'll let you know. I'm such a successful guest to this podcast that they downloaded a new sound. Uh, to the soundboard of people fucking snoring. <laughs> oh, 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 that's uncool. I know. No, no, no. L- let me explain. Um, Johnny, he was. Re- I'm not accepting FaceTime right now. Well, I was gonna put. Oh, you're not, you're not camera ready. He, um, um, Johnny, Johnny gave us a very, very nice, in depth story about um, his veganism, and after about 15, <laughs> 15, 16, 17 minutes, you know, um, I started to nod <laughs> off. So <laughs> it is what it is. Thanks, Lise. Dude, you should see Thanks, what he babe. Does on the phone with listen, no, you should hear what he does with customer service representatives. I tell him all the time, like, dude, you sound like a fucking prank call. They answer <laughs> the phone, they're like, "Hi, Nordstrom, can we help you?" Wow, oh, how's your day going today? <laughs> my 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 day's fine. Thank you for asking. What's your name? You He's ask them so what their name. Fucking creepy. He talks like super slowly and like deliberately, You're and then like asks like weird questions. He's like. He's like, how's your weather you experience? That's like, not true. I'm like, dude, they're going to hang up on you. You sound like a prank call. Little do they know he's like the most genuine. Like, he really wants to know. I like, want to know where you're at. I want to know what, what it's like <laughs> where you're living right now. But the difference is, too, like, they're calling him. So it'd be weird if it was a prank call. Like, no, no, no. I'll, oh, if you I'm call call, them. If I'm, no. calling, if I'm calling to get, like, a reservation somewhere or I'm calling to, like, inquire about. You put on a character? Or something. You do a character? It's not a character. This is my, this is me. I, no, I promise you. Yes. I try and I try to imbue this into my daughter. I'm like, this is a fucking free bingo space. All you have to well, do babe, is be I kind honestly... and 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 ask how someone is. It's so easy, and it it, it opens well, a billion doors you. for you through your life. Well, let me just tell you, your plan is going horribly awry. That's not true. I get everything I, I want on I, the phone. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Jolie tonight. <laughs> okay. I got a. Pa- Can I say something, please? Thank I you. laughed. I said I okay. Gotta, I, yeah. Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, I got a package delivered, and my my the the item I got was like stuffed up, and so I was pissed off. So I called customer service, and Jolie says before the guy picks up, she goes. You better curse him out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You're not going to get what you want with the curse words. That's true. Listen, there's something uh, about there's something about being respectful and kind, but the way she's describing you, Johnny, it sounds like you're a bit of a psychopath. No, nope. I'm telling no, he you. He's a psychopath. He's a psychopath with kindness. There's yeah, art, that's it. No, yeah. there's an art to it, and it was, it was something that I learned from my grandfather. It's just like these people have to deal with probably like 80 to 200 calls a day. If you're just the one call who's like, Hey, how's it going? And they're like, I'm good, man. Thanks yeah. for asking. Like, that is true. It, yeah. It's completely disar- it's disarming. They do take to him right away. I they have take to, to me right away. It's, like, Thank you for asking, Sean. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. And then and you say, Thanks for asking. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Marjo. Mm. Hey Marjo. Um, so I have a th- thing that's happening. That's right an now. old customer service trick of like use someone's name yeah. and you can get them to buy anything. Or I'm just telling anything. I'm just telling them that I, I'm just trying to connect with them as another human, not as a person who works for me. Because first of all, this person doesn't know who I am. They can hang well, up on me. Inst- yeah. yeah, they can hang up on me instantly. <laughs> right? Yeah. What happened to your thing? What happened, Lisa? I got the boots delivered and they're fucking stuffed up. They cost a small fortune. And first of all, the box was ripped. Mm. Like they got here and it looked... I, they have body glitter on them. 
And I called him. I'm like, dude, what? somebody wore these. Yeah. Like, I don't want these boots. Disgusting. That's get fucking some, weird. Like, how does a product? How does a product like this even like get mailed to you? Disgusting. Because Nordstrom. Yeah, it sucks. It's fucking disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Lisa, I was trying to tell. We, we talked about ridiculousness for a good thirty to forty minutes. Um, oh, babe, I miss you. I uh, want to put ridiculous on and go to bed. Yeah. Oh, maybe you, maybe you should have come in. I don't know. Maybe you could have been with him right now if you wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, I'm maybe kidding. I should have had like child care. Are you doing? Are you coming in here next week, please? Uh, sure. Wait, but, hang on. What did you say, Joey? You watch ridiculousness. Oh, I can watch ridiculousness with you, you little oh, cutie pie. Nice. Okay. Oh. Well, Lisa, we, should cuss her out. we will. Uh, I'll wrap up with Johnny soon. I'll send him home to you very, very shortly. We have. We we still need to talk about. We need to talk. We need to talk about horror movies. We need to talk about Roy T. Stevens. There's a lot of stuff we have to cover. <laughs> but I think we're getting kicked out yeah. by some teens. Yeah, we're having a good time, but you are missed. I miss you guys too. Yeah, I'll be there next week. Joey cool. wants to say something. Okay. Right. Shut up. <laughs> nice. Hey, great to hear from you, Joe. As always, you always make me feel really, really good about myself. Love you both. <laughs> you guys, you said he cut her off. You think that's get a? You, you think that's nice? You're the one who started this. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> You're the one who started this conversation, asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm going right. to hang up with you and call DSS, Child love Services, you, on the you, way. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love Bye. you, too. See you guys soon. Bye. 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 Damn. You got a sweet girl there. Oh, man. A couple of sweet them. ladies. Both of them are <laughs> gems. Hey, Darren, you ever been called an asshole by a nine-year-old? Probably. <laughs> cool. You're living a good life then. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Um, I hate that we have to wrap up. I got. We got a few more. What do you got? I don't know. I feel like we were talking about Are you excited dick about slapping Virginia. <laughs> oh, the, the dick slapping. Yeah, so yeah, finish um, that. I, I had a I used to hang out with these two guys, uh, Josh. You know, I think you know my buddy Josh Jarreau, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. skinny handsome guy. Yeah, like he's handsome. like frustratingly handsome. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, he's chiseled and like doesn't care about getting laid, mm-hmm. so he's wasting it, yeah. wasting it. He Just, looks like Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's good looking. Guy. Oh, like he's not sleeping with women. Oh, he does occasionally, but like it's not his. Like if he, if he doesn't you, care. If someone were given those looks, they should They'd be, be actively right. Like, like I'm gonna pound three a day, no problem. Okay. But he doesn't. He's like, no, I'm just, you know, if they come around, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a girlfriend and a wife. He's a very, he's a noble, he's a good man. He doesn't abuse his looks. Anyway, so I used to hang out with this guy, with Josh and this guy Johnny, different Johnny all the mm-hmm. time. And for some reason, the three of us just as adults started hitting each other in the balls again. We yeah. brought back like the gotta bring it back. You can't do it all the time, <laughs> but we were allowed to do it like whenever you want. Yeah. Just don't abuse it. Yeah. Um, so we would do it in the most random spots. So there was one time when Josh and Johnny and I were all in Vegas, the three of us. I don't even know why we were there. Weird. And we're crossing the Vegas Strip. And Josh hits me in the balls so hard mm. as we're crossing the street. Mm-hmm. And it's the hardest. I've been hitting the balls plenty of times. You know, I've lived a good life. And he hit me in the ball so hard that it took my legs out completely. So I'm laying in the middle of the street and there's cars coming and I can't get up to get out of the way. And I'm just like, I'm, res- I'm, re- I'm like resigned, to, resigned to the fact that like, okay, I'm going to get run over and these fuckers are going to have to explain oh. to my family why I'm no longer here. So, so they had to like put their hands up and they're laughing, but they're stopped traffic to like, <laughs> to make sure they didn't get run over. But dude... That's the kind of stuff that guys do that girls yeah. just like girls never kick each other in the vag yeah. or like pinch a nipple or wet willies. Even. Have you had Sophie on the podcast? I'm going to. Okay. I was going to say, you can ask about like stuff like that. Like do kids nah, still they, do that? They, they do stuff. But no, not, they don't. Not, not like they, they don't. I, I don't think they, girls like, do I think, that. I think girls pants each other and stuff. Do they? Yeah. Never in front of me. I wish no, they would. No, the old bra snap. Isn't that fun? No, but guys do that to girls. Yeah, I didn't know if girls do it. So that's something that little, like, young boys do right. when they like a girl. Like, I, listen, I have a crush on you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hurt you. Just so you know how girls much I like Girls do the same you. thing. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, they do. Do they? Yeah. How? If a, if a girl like if a young like they'll kids, snap your bra. <laughs> <laughs> but kids like if if a little girl likes a little boy, she'll she'll hit him. I guess so, but but to each other. A girl, a girl um, slapped the shit out of me when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, because uh, because she, I, she I, was into you. <laughs> I that's what, I mean yeah. She, wow. I was I was paying attention to to another girl. Oh, that'll do it. Jealousy. Yeah, yeah. and, and she, you, and you she had no history me. with this girl. I mean, I knew her. Okay, she was a friend of. But you weren't like going like, steady or whatever. No, 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 no. 
nice. It was like there was like a little weird tension, and like I, I kind of was talking to another girl, and she and she slapped me in front of everybody. You learned your lesson. Mm-hmm. I bet you learned your lesson. No, I didn't. Didn't. No, no, dude. No. I had a girl <laughs> when I was in uh, elementary school. Uh, Christina Prentice was her name. Uh, we were playing. Do, do you guys? Did you guys have the game called Suicide at school, where you throw a tennis ball at a wall? And oh yeah, and if, if you, you try touch to, it, if you touch it and drop it, you have to run and touch the wall, yeah, okay. or you get absolutely a, a ball thrown at you. <laughs> right, we're playing you can't suicide play that anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> we played that, uh, but occasionally we would substitute real fruit. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. damn. So, good move. So good like move. somebody like oh, I'm gonna hit so it with like an orange Christina, or a pear. For some reason, this Christina girl, like she got mad at me, or I made some comment, and she was kind of a friend of mine, but she had these like super pointy, almost like cowboy boot type point. And she kicked me in the balls mm. with those with the point. Damn. And I swear it went between my balls into my taint. And <laughs> if I if I if I relax right now, yeah, I can still feel it a little bit. Francis. <laughs> you know how like girls, you know you guys don't how understand. Old? I was probably fourth or fifth grade. So I have tiny balls now. They're even tinier then. Yeah. <laughs> so like she really had to aim good to get those puppies. Well, why? Why'd she kick you? I don't remember. It was something to do with the game of suicide. Either yeah. like I I I accused her of like dropping the ball when she didn't. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. apparently she was pissed about yeah, it. She was Wait, girls played suicide with oh, you guys? Well, she was like a tomboy. Like oh, okay. she probably had a better arm than any of us. Like a pointy cowboy boots. Yeah. 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 It's kind of tough. <laughs> <Let's be on. laughs> you know what I'm um, but dude, she hit me so hard and like, you know, when you get racked in the balls, the pain is not in your balls. It's in your stomach. Yeah. You know, you get that sick right. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's all connected. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. And that's the biology lesson for the day. It is all connected. <laughs> it is all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you excited about Quiet Place 2? Have you seen it yet? No, no. Are you excited? Um, I think I'm a little over it. Like, not really. I think it's what? just like that. There's a billboard on Riverside. It's been up for like two years. I guess they were trying to plan it. They were trying to put it in May of last year. Yeah. They put that. And Krasinski billboard. was like, no. They put the, well, they put the billboard up in like January of 2020. And then COVID happened. And they left it up. Now it still matters. It says coming this May. And it's like still, oh, yeah. it still works. We didn't say what year. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I just sort of like, I, I had some frustrations with the first Quiet Place that were, um, I mean, I, the, the, the suspension of disbelief for horror movies is typically just like pretty liberal, you know? Right. right. But for this movie, I felt like some of the, some of the core decisions being made that would set up the world were just such a, like, Bad decision after bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. That I just was like, come on, like, like uh, it. It wasn't something that felt to me um, genuine to the horror trope. Like, you should have a normal scenario where a couple bad decisions make the thing happen, but not a fucked up, freaky scenario where every single decision is bad. Why did you have a baby? Why are you having a baby right now? Why are you not living by the river? I don't remember the movie well, but did they they got pregnant after? I don't she know, gone but south? I just remember being like, it just was like, why are you guys have, giving birth to a baby and the baby's gonna cry and then this fucking sound thing's gonna come in? Yeah. But Ballad. like, also like, do you know how much effort it would take to like nail a nail through a stair? Right. Like you have to get under there and like, sure, like sure. <laughs> you have to be all contorted. But as you know, having the baby raises the drama of the movie. Sure, so it's like, but like you, you have to, to me that's cheap. To me it's like um you know what should have been this is dark. Yeah. It should have been a rape baby. Maybe in, in a weird way. Like sure. it could have made it like uh you can't really get maybe, rid of yeah. it. I mean that, they didn't explain the conception of the baby, but it just felt like man, what a bad decision to like have that going on and they seem pretty comfortable in the world. Like Sitting it wasn't here. like a new it wasn't a new reality for them. They had a, they had we sort of joined the movie mm-hmm. as they had the rules had already been set for this world, so they knew not to make noise. Right. They knew. I like so that. Like, so don't treat us like idiots. You don't have to right. explain. But in we, that case, that means the baby had to have been um, planned, or, or no, no, or, the baby was not was like s- right. seven months because you spend a month or two with the family. I don't know how long yep. it's been, but like you couldn't be that good at living in hiding and have a house set up and all that stuff <laughs> in like. In like a, they, they were doing this for a while, so and I don't remember the specifics of how long they were there. But anyway, it just felt to me like so many things were assumed that I'd be okay with it. Uh-huh. That I just felt like, man, this is a really. I felt like it could have been done better, maybe. But I, so I'm not so <laughs> to say I'm not excited about part two. I am. Yeah, I'm pretty jazzed. What are, What are you excited about? You are someone that has 
first of all, you you have suggested so many movies to me, mm-hmm. and they've all been great except for that one that was like that was a mistake, dude. I'm not gonna name the filmmaker because I feel bad. You can name it because you love the movie. Yeah, I, I here no. Let me just uh, let me. I can fix this right Darren, now. Darren, this this guy suggested a movie to me that almost ended our friendship. <laughs> it was the biggest piece of shit. Okay, I know what happened. Me. So the filmmaker is um, Ben Wheatley, and he is a he is a very good. Does he have crippling good. autism or what's the no. deal? Okay, I I uh, I suggested one of the movies, and I meant to suggest the other, and it's well known that these two movies are part of his. Uh, he has like a, 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 a series a, or something or yeah. an arc or and whatever. like the names, the names were enough that I kind of threw one out, and it's a field in England. Yeah, and I meant to suggest Kill List, and those two. Oh, are Kill not, List! I'd he- I've heard of. So Kill List is fucked up, and f- so fucked up to the point of where at the end, like I have a buddy whose like wife threw up. She physically threw up at the end. I am intrigued and. Uh, feel, a field in England is way more of a like drawn out, uh, yeah, yeah sleepy, a little bit drama, Dude. sleepy. Uh, I don't mean I, I'm not gonna like say what it is. It's been forever since I saw Field in England, but um, I meant I meant to suggest to you Kill List, and he made a movie called Free Fire. He's great. I wish you told me that earlier because I, I've been on the fence of like, do I patch up this friendship? No, do I let it continue? Do I just I fixed it up? right now. I fucking threw out the wrong Ben Whitley movie. Watch Kill List tonight. You'll fucking call me tomorrow. I'm like, bro. Maybe I will. I might do that because, Darren, this movie he suggested was like, (laughs) so I watched the first 20 minutes. I'm like, this is a slow start. And I don't mind a slow movie if it's, if it's because he literally has just suggested so many amazing films to me. It follows uh, the witch, Mm -hmm. um, tons of stuff like Usually your suggestions are ironclad. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty proud of of my, I gave it uh, 20 minutes. I'm like. This is garbage. When is the turning point? Yeah. And then I started doing the thing where, like, I started skipping ahead. Like, yeah, you know, let's go a couple minutes, <laughs> five minutes, That's and I'm like, watching. twenty minutes. It's the same fucking shot of the same dirty, like, like a uh, tree mm-hmm. and a little dirt explosion. I feel in England. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's what it is. It looked like a, you know, you can go to those websites where it's just like a, a live stream mm-hmm. of like a park. Yeah. That's what this fucking watch, piece of uh, shit movie watch was. Watch Kill Us tonight, and then uh, then that that will re retroactively <sighs> fix whatever long dilemma has happened All since right. that moment. All right, but um, I'm uh, what are you pumped on? What are we waiting for? What, what's see. the next thing you're gonna send my way? I don't want to. I'm now. I'm, now I'm all in my head about no, no, no. Because like I said, I'm giving, telling you, like mm. you have done so right by me. Yeah. No pressure. Just don't ever make that mistake again. Trailer came out today for a were- werewolf movie that looked pretty good. That's Basically, tough to do. I know. It is. I don't like Werewolf in Paris was the last one that I thought was reasonable. Mm-hmm. And then now going back, it seems very dated. Yeah. But that one was Remember done pretty Silver well. Silver Bullet. Of course. Good one. Um, written by, uh, 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 didn't Whitley Strieber write that? Oh, I don't know. I, like I think Strieber. so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see this movie called Seance. Have you seen it? I have. I love that movie. What's the deal with it? It's, uh, a, there, it's a really, it's a really realized tone and uh it's it's hard to explain what i mean by that but it's like this filmmaker basically picked a girl's like reformatory school or like a detention school like basically all girls school like isolated in the middle of nowhere and set up like a fucking classic whodunit sort of like borderline horror but a little bit more of a like character study of a bunch of these different people who may who fuck who fucking killed these other people? Ooh. And it's like... Set modern day, or is it period? That's the thing I really love. Or we don't know. I don't want you to... Okay, I, ha, I mean, you just asked a question that I had that I can't not... I can't answer it, and I just really liked the first 30 minutes or so where I thought it was a period piece, and all of a sudden someone pulls out an iPhone. I'm like, that's sick. Which is like The Love Witch. Have you seen The Love Witch? No. Ooh, a, The Love Witch is another movie that is... Uh, it's a woman named Anna Biller. Uh, Seance was done by um, Simon Barrett. Uh, who's the writer? I know that name. Si- he wrote like uh, um, Simon Barrett wrote uh, the. Get in your mic. Oh, there you go. Um, Simon Barrett wrote uh, the guest. Okay. Fucking rules. Mm-hmm. The guest is so good. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're next. That was really good. Yeah. He's basically the sort of, sort of like 
co half brain of Adam Wingard, who yep. G- G- VHS and uh, yeah, and uh, like he just did Godzilla. Like, oh, that's since, right. Yeah, yeah he's uh, Wingard and Barrett are about to probably like land a big one. Good. Yeah, good. For good them. for them. That's right. I like supporting those like a uh, small time kind of filmmakers. Or just guys like they stayed breaks. on one lane and vision forever and just said like we're good at this, we're good at this, we're good Mike at this. Mike Flanagan style. Some, Mike Flanagan style. Yeah. Someone and then someone's like, you know what? You're fucking good at this. Awesome. And, uh, they never really like compromised or changed their sort of voice. Or well, lane. that's the thing. If you keep chasing trends and stuff, yeah. you're gonna miss everything. Yeah. So like, just do what you do and let people catch up to. To your thing, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm a big at least fan. that's how I feel about it. Is that how it works to you um, and for good filmmakers? Yeah, I or mean, should they kind of like? Well, you have to. I mean, obviously, you have to have the sauce, or else you're just right. going to be like chasing something that's probably not realized well. Mm-hmm. And that's you know, there's a million of those. Mm-hmm. But uh, but it's like you know, it's it's few and far between to find someone who's like stayed with something and they have a budget for every movie they make. The guest is so fucking good. If you haven't seen the guest, um. Go see it. Um, do you like? Do you like? Uh, not go see it. Get it. Do you like sweet movies? Like a uh, warm-hearted kind of like. Uh, um, do you like Napoleon Dynamite? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw that in theater. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I-, I watched a movie um, the other night. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that's a sweet movie, in that it's. A, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, more of like a. Like nothing happens in Napoleon Dynamite. There's not a story. Mm-hmm. It's just like characters living. Yeah. It's a snippet of life. Yeah. And like, if you ask me the plot of Napoleon Dynamite, yeah, I'm like, a uh, nerd has cousin who meets chick online and eats tater tots. Mom leaves for the weekend, right? And they have a llama. The, the brothers hilarious. Like it's a wild pitch. Dating online, <laughs> yeah. Uncle Rico can throw a football. So good. It's a weird movie, but um, I have, I have a friend uh, who just became a patron, and mm-hmm. her name is uh, Fatty Ash. Thank you for joining, and for I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine months. Mm-hmm. She has been recommending I watch this movie, and she became a patient. She goes, "Listen, now I'm a I'm a paid yes, subscriber. I'm here. Now you have to watch this movie. Okay, what is it? It's called A Boy Called Sailboat. Okay, have you heard of it or seen it? Mm-mm. Okay, For legit dudes. I know Darren doesn't like movies. He's like a he's anti Hell yes. anti entertainment. He's like <laughs> movies and white creamy food. He 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 hates films. Mm-hmm. White foods. I didn't say I hate films. He mm-hmm. hates films. But I just he, don't watch a lot of them. He loves the New York Knicks and Mickey's beer. That's, yeah. what, <laughs> that's what Darren loves, dude. Hand grenades. Something like that. Yeah. I love it. So this movie is a, a boy called Sailboat. It's another thing. I don't even know how to explain it, but it has like, it's a little kid. It's a cute little boy cast in the film. and His name is Sailboat, mm-hmm. obviously. And he is... Literally, maybe the cutest human being I've ever seen in my life. It's a super touching movie about a boy and his relationship with his his grandmother. Um, but it's kind of a wild yeah. story. It's really great. I recommend people see it. It'll make you cry without... Are you yeah. a crier? Mm, I don't love those, but I, I mean, I, I would probably check it out. No, maybe you don't love them. I'm saying, yeah. like, do you cry? Like, do I movies could, I could you? I could well up. Okay. I'm a well upper. What gets you in movies? What makes you well up? I here, Here's what makes me cry. Yeah. Anytime when Price is Right, an old lady hits a fucking like jackpot. Grab a time. Plinko, huge. Twenty five thousand. Why? I don't Can you explain because it? I see this just Did you have like a poor grandma or something? Mm, I mean I, I suppose everybody was sort of like hoping to win something, you know? I think that's the thing the American sort oh, of like hope. Yeah, this the Amer the American dream of coming out to Los Angeles, Burbank. Yep. And then waiting all day and then getting into a crowd of 300 people and then maybe they call your name and then even they, when they call your name you have to like qualify to get on the stage with the guy and then you get on the thing and like do you win like the all the staggered platforms of achieving randomly or like maybe with some knowledge of like supermarket prices but like it's culminating in like dropping a p- puck down some pegs and hitting 25,000 can change your life to see these like normal people elated, like maybe the maybe the culminating moment of their life. Oh, in those moments, dude, you're talking about especially an old woman, like yeah. that day has to be better than their wedding day, than like mm. the birth of their kids. Yeah. And it's like they're they're from like Nebraska. And it's to them, <clears throat> they have now they're on they're on TV. 
they're with like Drew Carey or Bob Barker, whoever. Like, I don't even know. Is that still the host, Drew Carey? Drew Carey, I believe, is still a guy. So they're <clears> on <throat> TV with celebrities. They're on this. They're on the same box that their favorite programs are on. Their friends can see them at home. Like everything I, is happening. For I them played on moment. stage with Nine Inch Nails. And that's what I feel like these women are doing. Yeah, like that's right. This is your hero. This is your favorite shit. And this is your moment. And everyone's watching you. And your you family's going to see you. One. <laughs> yeah. It's so. There's so many levels. And someone else is going to win in a half hour, or someone else is going to win lose, tomorrow. Or lose. Right. And and the thing is, like, there's so many layers of just like, holy shit, I did it. Holy shit. Holy shit, I got to L.A. Holy shit, I got in line. Holy shit, I made it. Like, there's so many levels that when they fucking win. For me, it's just like uh, overwhelming. I agree. To see that, and that I've cried at more prices rights than I have in movies. So we have a, a our friend Lance. Mm-hmm. His uncle. Have you heard his Price is Right story? Oh no! Please tell me he didn't get one dollar bid. So Lance's <laughs> Lance's <laughs> uncle Darren knows Lance too. <laughs> Lance, uh, his uncle was on. He's from like a podunk town in Massachusetts, mm-hmm. like a hick town, Boston. Outside, in the suburbs, like where, okay. where I grew up. I'm joking. Yeah, Hicks. yeah. You said Hicktown. <laughs> yeah, yeah Hicktown. Boston. Not a racist town. It was yeah, Hicktown. Okay. And uh, so he, he got some prices right. And again, it's his favorite show. Mm-hmm. He makes it to the Showcase Showdown. And on the Showcase Showdown, there's a fucking, there's an RV. There's a, obviously a washer-dryer mm-hmm. combo. There's sure. always a washer-dryer. Trip there's to like, Miami. trip to <laughs> like Puerto Rico or something. <laughs> nice. Um, or Atlantic City or some okay, bullshit. yeah. And like uh, jet skis or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it is. Balling out of control. And dude, he's been waiting for this his whole life. And, um, you know, Showcase Showdown, there's, there's two people. And, and you, you try to get closest to the bid without going packs. over. Right. One is always the better prize pack. Well, of course. And you, yeah. if you get close enough, you can win both, whatever mm-hmm. it is. But you can't go over. So he's getting there. He's looking at everything. And he looks in the crowd. And like, uh, he's like, 32, Bob. And Bob's like, 32 what? He goes, 3200 which if you're listening is $3,200 for an RV, two jet skis, a trip to Puerto Rico, a washer dryer combo. And Bob says, are you sure? And he goes, 3200 Bob. And they're like, Okay, and they go to the next person, and this person is fucking dumbfounded because, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like thirty two oh one at whatever he if does. He's thirty two oh one. I guarantee you win mine. Yeah, and you sure can enough, even go ten thousand. He meant to say thirty two thousand, but he said thirty two hundred <sighs> was was called on it and fucking doubled down on thirty two hundred. Do so to this day, his friends will say like, thirty two Bob, and he'll like leave a party or like um, he'll leave a, leave a I holiday f- party. I feel like. Lance told me this story before, and I loved it. And I was like, "We have to find that clip on YouTube somewhere. It's got to exist. It has to. Yeah. Uh, I think he's looked, but yeah. I don't know. But man, like you blew it. Yeah. What was he just that? nervous? I don't know what happened, or he just like. I mean, it's it's Podunk, Massachusetts math. Maybe my sister in law. <laughs> we went to Prices Right. We did the crowd, the wait in line. They get in. Carla. Got called down. Your sister in law. Sister in law got called down. Oh yeah. And I'm re- if, if this has been over ten years. If I'm remembering this correctly, <laughs> she got dollar bid on like the uh, refrigerator, and she's like nineteen hundred dollars, and the guy's like nineteen oh one. I'm pretty sure that happened. Brutal. I Fucking wait, you brutal. don't you don't win if you're a dollar off. No, it, it's the closest without going it's over. So if you say oh, 1900 gotcha, gotcha. and someone pulls the fucking shady ass $1 move, mm-hmm. unless it's exactly 1900, yep. you're, you're out. So if, it, if the price gotcha. was 1950, that person wins. And so there's an advantage to being called fourth because you get the last chair and you can see all three prices and then you can make your call. Got it. Got yeah. it. Yeah, it, it was a, but she did win a, a cool uh, she won a set of knives and a dry hack or something just from being there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's better than nothing. You get taxed on it though. That's fucked up. Yeah. It was just one thing my dad would always be like, we'd watch Prices Right as a kid, and he'd be like, you know, you get taxed on all those things. So, like, someone wanted a Jaguar, he's like, gotta pay taxes on it. <laughs> I'm always like, dude, someone just want a Jaguar. Just shut the fuck <laughs> just up. Let me. <laughs> just let them like, win. If I have to pay like 1700 bucks for a Jaguar, <laughs> yeah. I'll find the way to I'm deal like, with it. I'm like, bro, you can't figure that out. Like, yeah. You, yeah, maybe I'll borrow you, it. Yeah, maybe I'll go exactly. to the bank and get a loan for it. Or if I can go on payment plans to IRS. Like, Whatever. Yeah, like, Whatever. Yeah, that's funny shit. Yeah, quick um, question. Yeah, 
Have you guys been in the studio audience of a really cool show? I tried for so long to be uh, to be a contestant on Hollywood Squares, and I went to go like you have to try you're, out. You're to be good. On the shows. Oh, that's cool. I think so. I thought. Okay. I mean, I thought I was better, but I went there and. Uh, have you guys ever tried out for a game show? I got. I could have been on one, and I declined in the over quarantine because I turned down. A, I, turned, I turned down a TV show two days ago. Really? On, I would have had to do it today. What was the but, show? Uh, to tell the truth. Okay, mine was the one where you go on stage and the you, mass singer. You no, <laughs> but you sing. Oh no! So they put a song up and they're like, "Do you want to go <clears throat> Doobie Brothers or do you want to go Marvin Gaye?" And you go like, "Okay," uh, and you pick Marvin Gaye, and then they're like, "Okay, let's sing." And the band starts playing "Heard It Through the Grapevine," and you're like, oh. "Well, baby, it's hard. It's supposed to cry." And the songs like karaoke, like the words are, "But these right. tears I can't hold inside, I'm losing you my, in my life." You're trying to, and it's like you have to sing. You're singing for this band, and all of a sudden, the the lyrics go away. And you have to finish. Oh, the, is it the called line. "Don't Forget the Lyrics" or That's or, it. or forget "Don't the Forget lyrics? the Lyrics"? Is that it? Okay, all right. And they're rebooting it. It's been like ten years since it was on. I think it used to be. Uh, I don't know who used to host it. Oh yeah, it was uh, Wayne Brady. And now they're they're bringing it back. And um, they basically were like, "You can. You've passed all of the things. You could be on it. Do you want to do it?" And I was like, "I've tried to play this game on YouTube like since you've contacted me, <laughs> and I fail every time in the first round. So I'll be the one guy." Yeah. Who they bring out, and they're like, "Oh, he made it to fourteen hundred dollars." And they bring in a new person. And that person finishes the whole episode. Right. <laughs> so I was like, "I can't do it." You, you, you would be like the black character in a classic horror movie. Yeah, where yeah. you know you're going first, basically. I <laughs> kind knew of. it. Lisa, 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 just tried, Lisa just tried to Facetime me in the middle. We'll of wrap my... it. We'll wrap it. We'll wrap it. Hi. Right now. I don't. Oh, I just talked about. I just talked about my. Don't forget the lyrics. You came on Rare Form Radio and did fuck three hours. They did. They did like a oh. cut in the bonus episodes. <laughs> Oh, snizzle. Huh? Yeah, we're rapping now. We're literally yeah. rapping now. We're rapping now. Woo woo, rapping now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was just telling stories. Thanks for giving me more shit to fucking edit out. Not even being here, I have to edit more out now. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, you're not even here, and I have to chop the show up. <laughs> right, love, you. love you love you love you bye all right i heard his big fucking mouth um, <laughs> she's the best yeah she is the best um the best so yeah game shows anyway yes yeah, so i did i tried out for the hollywood squares i love the show i knew i could kill it but you have to go in this room and you sit in all these like it's like you're in elementary school you sit in all these like desks and they want you to like okay we're gonna announce something be as animated as you can mm-hmm. be. Get hyped up. Like you want, if you want to be in the show, you have to be noticed. And that's just not my yeah. personality. Like on here, I can, I have a lot of fun with my friends, yeah. but in a room full of strangers, I am fucking silent. I don't like, I don't like to be noticed. Yeah, that's tough. I, I don't, I, I, if I'm at like an airport with a friend who's like a loud talker, mm-hmm. I will go away. <laughs> I can't be around like yeah. a loud person in general, in, in public. So I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's. A, have you been in an audience before? Um, I had two interesting situations. Um, I was supposed to be in the audience of Double Dare. Yes. Fuck um, yeah, dude! Mark Summers. Mark Summers. Yep. And it was the day that they canceled it. Oh no! So we we were there. Oh. And they're like, when they canceled the show forever. Jesus. Yep. We we were there. Um, I don't think we were going to be on it, but we had a chance to be on it. And we were just sitting there waiting, that's waiting, like waiting. The, that's like the D Day of game shows. And like they literally were just like, okay, the show's can't. Some, I mean, I was a kid. I may, I don't know. I don't know what really happened, but we, we were there. You know, they had the setup, and then Dude, they sent us home. Double or dare. That's like being like. That's like the Oscars for kids. I know. I was probably like. Or you can't do that on television. Would have been another big one. Getting oh, slimed. Yeah. Well, there was a show that I loved growing up, the same era that I've I've recently talked to Lisa about. I'm like, God, I wish I could have had the 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 puck from Funhouse. Funhouse. Funhouse fun was a game show that you had to run around and collect the things you would go in the house. It, had, it was hosted by JD I Roth. That. JD Roth. JD Roth. Who, who now is a, is a huge producer of was all it, these was big it hidden reality stuff? shows. No, it was sort of like questions. You had like two, you know, team of two, two kids for each team, and they were like, you know, buzzer in and answer questions about shit, and then like they would basically it was like double dare without the gross shit in the slime. You had to go through an obstacle course, you had to pick shit up, but there was these little pucks. Nickelodeon, right? 
I think it was Nickelodeon. Yeah, and and then you had to pick up these little pucks and put them in a little sack, like a net sack, and collect the pucks. But I just wanted, I I just wanted to hold one of the pucks so bad as a kid. <laughs> I just wanted to like feel like the weight of it. Like, is it heavy? Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've searched eBay, bro. You're laughing so hard. I've been no, like, I'm, like, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of something that I don't know if I want to say on the air or not. So I, like, I'm just, I don't know if it's, uh, you know what? Just go for it. Figure it out. Um, uh, <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, Darren, I have to say it's in front of you, I guess. You're like, I killed It's racial. It's I racial. Killed a kid, Obviously. It's not, it's not me. So I had a cousin. You guys remember, uh, Nickelodeon had, uh, Nick at night. I, yeah, the little shows. The show would the shows would go from like nine year olds to like fifteen year olds. Right. So, so Nick at Night was like they'd play like the Donna Reed show or That's stuff like right. that. That's right. It was like always fifty shit. And my cousin kept hearing like uh, Nick at Night, Nick at Night. And my cousin said to me, he goes, "What the fuck is that about?" I'm like, "What?" He goes, <laughs> "What is N word Night?" He thought it was. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> N word Night instead of Nick at Night. No, I don't understand why. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> so legit, uh, he thought like Nickelodeon had a special segment for black folks yeah, called uh, N Word Night. He's like, and then, Did they, he say and then they take all the color out of it too. <laughs> it takes, it's it's not black and white. It's just black at night. Um, but man, that's a good way to end it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, I had one, I had one more. Yeah, quick. Was oh, please, I was Go. in the studio audience of the Catch Me Outside girl. Yeah. Wait, for that episode? Yes. I was there. That's so sick. I yeah. feel like Lisa what did they loves cut her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it, we loved that episode. That was Dr. Phil, right? That's yeah. right. I was there. You saw that in person? Yeah. What, what, Dude, that's like saying you That's like being at 9-11. Yeah. My mom that's was like my, being at 9-11. My mom was here. Uh, I was at 9 And she wanted to see Dr. Phil. And we Holy also went to Jeopardy. Shit. So were there uh, other things that happened that maybe felt like you, you know more than we do? Did they say like, okay, no. we're going to run it back, do that again? No, it wasn't. We we had no idea that it would blow up or. Did you know when you were watching that you were watching something special? No. Yeah, you couldn't pick we up. We were just that. like this ignorant, yeah. stupid kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it. The only Catch thing. Catch me outside, how about that? She was fighting with an audience member, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The yeah. only thing that. That was I Darren. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I would say that um, might have been a forecasting of. You know, that might be something was the fact that after the show was over, um, I went to go use the bathroom and she was like, like she had like bodyguards and stuff. Really? Like, it, yeah, it seemed like, I don't know. It was weird. Like and she was just a punk kid at the time who was mouthing off to her mom. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was yeah. just some punk kid. Yeah. You know, but like, why would she have bodyguards? Well, she, she was, was like awful. 13 years old. She was awful. Mm -hmm. And she was like smoking cigarettes and stuff, and like, yeah, yeah, she was just some punk kid. And then she had a song that came out like what three years ago. She is a millionaire, you know that? Yeah, but it's only fans. Multi millionaire. millionaire. Yeah. She was a oh, millionaire cares. before. I mean, like, fans. However I mean, you do it, good, for, good song, for her. But like, but that's the crazy. song. What was the song? I don't know. I don't know. Someone actually made it for. Her, I'm sure. Cash, cash me outside. I'll look uh, it up. You guys talk. I'll find it. Yeah, the song. But the song was like not indifferent to indifferent. Not unlike. Um, an other pop star, pop oh, like the formula, pop culture people who do a rap song. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you hear it and you're like, man, that's actually a pretty good, like a like a good song, like a catchy song. So you know it was given to her by someone. Oh yeah, of course. There's so no like, way she wrote it. Whatever that song is, I forget what it was, but it was like one of those ones where I was like, man, this is actually a bit of a trust good, me. Was that no? Okay, it was a good song. And I'm not saying good song like I listened to it, but I'm just saying like I, re I heard it and I was like, well, this is... For what you'd expect from her, it was right. better than what you expect from like a, oh, it, a, a it, reality I show. I was like or someone or... with pretty... Someone either randomly wrote a really good song or someone who was really good wrote a song. Right. Um, and, I and I forget what it was. Bitch? Do I, do, like, do I ever... Bad Baby. Bad Bobby. Barbie. Bad, no, Bad Baby is her name. Barbie. It's Bobby with a B-A-H. Bad ba Bobby. But people call her Bad Baby. It's not Baby. It's Dude, She's trying to make Come on, sure? it's a play on Barbie. It's bad baby. It? It's bad Barbie, but with a ba, because she can't say Barbie. No. Bad Bobby. Nah. She's not from the <laughs> Dude, Northeast. It's bad it's Bobby. Like, it's She's from, from Philly. You're from Philly or some shit. <laughs> it's bad Bobby. No, it's bad baby, dude. I think it's bad baby. It's fucking white people, dude. Can you believe this shit, Darren? <laughs> yeah, no, you told me. Stuff about we have that. to put up with, yeah. you and I. <laughs> you told, dude, me, about, you told me about that. I warned you. Yeah. Before he walked in, like this is a real dumb white guy coming in. <laughs> high bitch. That's it. It's high like bitch. Bad, high bitch. Bad Bobby. 
Hi, bitch. Don't play it. We can't, yeah. can't oh play it. Oh my god, Ronnie. White Jays, white Porsche, no. white wrist. No, <laughs> done. No. That's a hook. Turn, take, take it off. Take it off. It's awful. I'm telling you, this is Barbie. This, by the way, your wife will not stop texting me. Yeah. She really wants you to go home. <laughs> so we're going to rip this uh, up. Uh, excuse me. Man, Lisa, I love my wife she so much. couldn't come tonight, so she's trying to ruin our show. Of course. That's what that's that's a wife. That's You're a right, wife. guys. I'm wrong. What? Danielle Peskowitz Bregoli, known professionally as Bad Barbie. No. I'm reading it. I Bad can say what baby. I want. I'm reading it. I can say what I want. Oh, cool. Bad Bobby. And then it goes. Pronounced. Pronounced. Bad baby. Bad baby. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, dude. <laughs> I like Bad Bar Bad Bobby. <laughs> like a Boston guy. It makes her sound even trashy. She's a bad Bobby. Actually, to fit her personality, it should have been Bobby. But listen, mm -hmm. we got to wrap it up. Yeah. Are you coming back next week? Sure. Whatever. Dude, I'm, or, I mean, whatever. I have a if plan. We can't, if we can't uh, come back. Line it up. With and Joe. the three of us will just ignore Lisa the whole show. That's not nice. I'm kidding. I love her so much. <laughs> Me too. I'm bummed she wasn't here, but we Me had a too. good show tonight. It was a bummer. I, we, there was more stuff we could have rolled on, but obviously. Uh, you know you're welcome can. anytime. Of course. I love that. talking to you Same. always. And maybe we'll maybe really we'll fun. have a studio together. Maybe we'll get we'll find that situation. We're talking. Yeah, we're, we're talking. talking. Can we're I bring talking. my brick walls? Yeah, these are nice. You guys watching on YouTube? What do you think of the new set? I, I'm pretty happy. Dan has a uh, stonemason friend who Oop. came over. Yep, <laughs> installed <laughs> installed the brick wall. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, I did not buy this at Home Depot. Don't worry about it. Uh, Darren, thank you, dude. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, so we did a marathon tonight. It's a good one. Um, Johnny Dunn. You can find him on Twitter for some reason at USSR Dad. Yeah, obviously the communist l large nation. You're not Russian. No, but I don't. You are have, a dad. How, how quickly? How did this happen? Uh, I was we were I was riding my bike with my family one day, and I was like, uh, we was, we stopped somewhere. I think we Jolie, our daughter, was talking to someone in, in the yard or something. And I looked at my phone, and I just was like, I opened settings, and I think I had an idea for a name, and I went to go like type it in, and it didn't work because my name it used to be uh, Kilola, which was our our band. And I don't know why I know I'm a founding member, but what it, that's right. I already talked about that. Uh -huh. I typed in USSR dad as just to see if it was there. Just to, and it's so stupid. I don't even know what it means. I have nothing to do with Russia and it was available and I laughed really hard and just push submit. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what it I said. remember the day that it switched and I was like, listen, I'm, Johnny is like, you have one of the most creative minds I've ever known. You're one of the most creative and talented people I've ever met. Oh, man. Hey, I hate that we're, hey, we're, hey, we're ending the podcast on this. No, no, Let's no. Let's roll. Let's no, roll. No, no. Roll the fucking tape. <laughs> roll the tape. I'm telling you, you are one of the most creative, mm. talented people I've ever known. But when I saw that, I was like, mm. what was he thinking? <laughs> what is this? Is he okay? No. Um, has he been hacked? Like, what is this? And then I was like, no. It's just the brilliance of Johnny. It doesn't matter. Mm, it doesn't it matter. From. It's just stupid, and I like USSR Dad. Oh yeah, USA Dad was taken. That's what it is. I I looked for USA. That's what it was. I pulled over of and course that was I looked taken. up USA Dad, and I was laughing. That I was like, oh, I was taken. Then I saw. So I was like, I started laughing. I was like, USSR Dad. I have and a better was, one. Yeah, USA Today Dad. Eh. <laughs> Darren, what do you think? <laughs> We're as as comedians. Yeah, we should just wrap it up. <laughs> Take it back to the drawing board. This is Lola, and I'm here to tell the world to stop being such pussies and listen to Rare Form Radio. <laughs>